difficulties. Please excuse the mess, the sonar feed appears to be having a few difficult. Welcome to Sonar Feed! Yeah. Episode 158! Con el señor Jordan Schweitzer. <laughs> that doesn't sound like that would work at all. <laughs> <laughs> so German. I love it. I love it. It's the greatest combo. Well done. Well done. This is episode 158. The Jordan we need. Yeah. Maybe not the one we knew going into the not off many. season. Not many new. So welcome in. We it is will Papa now. Schweitz. 23. Brutal, huh? Yeah. That's a, that's a high school Twitter account. Oh. Yeah. So we enjoy <laughs> I love that one. it. Do you have an accompanying email with the same? Uh, no. You, you know no, what no. it is. We know Old who he smart. likes when it comes to the, the key musical question of the day. We know who he's going to yeah, go with. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. So welcome in. <laughs> this is uh, episode 158 of Sonar Feed live here at the Berliner Pub. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Special welcome, Tuesday man. night edition. Thanks for fitting us in your schedule. Yes. Thanks for having Thank me. you, dude. Thanks Thank you. Having. Appreciate we just, it. Watch the Sounders uh, match, obviously, and now we're going to go into the show. I am Aaron Riley, a.k.a. Sonar Riley on Twitter. Across from me is... Hugo Garcia, at Mi Vida Seattle. Next to me is... I'm Kyle Gervin, at Gervin Zero. And, of course, George Jordan Schweitzer. Schweitzer. The Schweitz. The Schweitz. The Schweitz. The Schweitz. Love it, man. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is turn it up just a hair, just so people at home... Is that too loud for you now? We'll have to adjust your stuff. So, um, okay. Let me know if that's good, boys and girls. But, uh, Jordan, what we're going to do this week, like we told you about, is because it's kind of a special episode. We're going to focus on you tonight. So, we're going to go right into uh, it, We're going right into you. And we're going to focus on you for the next hour, 90 minutes. All right. And uh, we'll be good to go. So, okay. Jordan, tell okay. us a little bit about... Who you are, where you come from, your history. Go back as far as you want, as far, and yeah. we'll go from there. And we're right, welcome I'll to include tacos into this. We'll get there. Right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. I'm told tacos. That's a big talking <laughs> That's point That's a whole here. episode. Yeah. So, you know, um, grew up in uh, Mill Creek, just outside of Everett. Nice. Um, played for a bunch of uh, smaller clubs up in uh, that area. Oh, yeah. uh, I think I'm, I might be the first 425 guy at this yeah. club, right? Yeah, first yeah. one. Nice. Four, two, five. Four, Again, two, five. the the 425253 two, five, three has always been a big talking point in the academies. Yeah. Really? We we'll get to that. Oh, you wow. I'm sure oh, you'll yeah. be pumped about that. But you know, grew up um, just really fell in love with the game probably around 11 or 12. Uh, from there started to run with it. Um, got some 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 opportunities to play at uh, different clubs, moved to Crossfire. Can I say that here? Yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Moved to Crossfire. Yeah. You know, enjoyed my time there. Lots of great guys. And uh, uh, from there was was very fortunate. Uh, was a 16 when the academy started up. Wow. So I was on that 16 team with uh, a lot of really good players. Um, a Where's lot of really players? good players. Uh, you got Michael Gallagher, Ian Lang. Um, trying to think of the, that's the UW guys. Stephen uh, Bankson. Dom was an 18. Yeah. Dom, shout out to Ike Dom. Ike Crook. You remember the Ike Crook? Crook? Yeah, Austin yeah. Sweeney, who's no. got an absolutely sweet right foot. Yeah. Shout out Austin yeah, Sweeney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were in that picture Diana posted then yeah. last month? Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Do you have yeah. that? Yeah, I do, yeah. I'll look it up real quick. Hold you, on. You, you can try and find me. It's yeah. brutal. I haven't changed much. But, yeah, so all those guys. Great yeah, guys. Was, great uh, players. Uh, and uh, Morris was also a, a, a little Jordan Morris. Yeah. yeah, he's grown up a little bit, I think. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> just, just a little. little. Grown into some kind of player, huh? Um, um, Dude, that's crazy. And All just this young talent coming from Washington. Well, State and and that's that was the 16s. If you look at the 18s group, it was Kovar, Dar, Sean Coley, uh, Troy Peterson, Chase Hansen. I mean, the list goes on, and, and those are guys that obviously we uh, we loved playing with, and, yeah, and obviously yeah. getting the chance to play with the, Jamel Cox. Yeah, like, oh yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't stop Ryan Herman. Herman? Yeah, the oh list boy. really goes on and on as far yeah. as Sounders yeah, Academy. That first year was was great, yeah. and um, 
you know, so very proud to have been a part of that that first, you know, first two years, and and just to see kind of where it's gone from there. It's it's exciting to see all these kids yeah, come up. Dude, they got two thousands out there training. Yeah. So that makes me feel yeah, a little bit older oh, than I wow. probably should have. U fourteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, and, and from there, know, know. yeah, brutal, right? Um, <laughs> from <laughs> from my there. Da- my daughter's twelve, going on thirteen. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm old. Not that old. No, yeah, yeah. no, come on, that's just mean. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a chance to compliment him here. Um, Remember, from there, forties and e twenty, he's roll with it. That's yeah. right. Yeah, from there Yo. went and uh, played uh, four years at the University of Denver. Love my time there. Um, you go know, pioneers. I think go pioneers. Go pioneers. Yeah. yeah. The wow. New, the new hot spot for uh, academy guys. Slowly. Yeah. You know, and, and obviously it's got to make sense Were for you everyone. Were the trailblazer for that? He was. I was. Yeah. They uh, they got mad at me for a little bit. They said, "Hey, we brought you in, and, and we got no Sounders Academy kids." Uh, and within I think two weeks, there was two kids, uh, Tosh and Ryan Schaefer, committed. Nice. So luckily, they committed. It made me look a little bit better as far as a uh, recruiting pitch, recruiting right. tool. Um, it's be like like anything with you quality. Gotta, it takes a little bit of time. Right, right, right. You got to learn. So loved my four years there. Uh, great guys, great staff, yep. great city. Little bias, not as great of a city uh, as Seattle, obviously, but um, you know, just learned, developed, grew, and uh, you know, that's kind of been my motto growing up. You know, maybe never the the guy in the team that everyone looks at and goes, "Oh wow, like that's a big name player," but but someone who's kind of prided himself on doing the little things um, and and kind of going from there. Which is why when you signed your uh, homegrown player contract. Yeah. And made it official. Yeah. Uh, my first comment, which is what the show is named, is the Jordan we need, not the one we, not the one we knew. Yeah. Because to me, it was everybody knew Jordan Morris. Everybody knows Jordan Morris. And it's not a slam. It's not a slam no, no, at all. I, and I you don't know this. feel it. Absolutely. Yeah. But we need folks like you. Yes. Who have the history, the passion, the you do the the little things that most fans don't pay any attention to at all. And that's what this guy here. You're the two passes him talk before the score, or the pass before exactly. the score. Exactly. So yeah. Without, you have the vision to see where it's going. That, without players like yourself, yeah. others can't succeed, and the team won't succeed. So that's why yeah. it's uh, it's great to have you because it is the Jordan we need. Because we knew we need more players like you. Yeah. With vision like you, uh, with with everything that uh, man. I'm gonna keep talking about you, but oh. I'll let you talk, man. Keep going, no, man. no, no. Love hearing about it. I appreciate it. No, and that's I think I'm someone who I like is. I pride myself on doing those little things and, and, and obviously giving the players ahead of me, around me, to, to go do what they're great at. Um, you know, priding myself on, on breaking up plays, you know, moving the ball, helping them build at the back. Just, just things that I think if you understand the game really well, you'll look and be like, oh, here's a guy who knows what yeah. he's doing. Uh, hopefully, you know, obviously the transition from, from college to the professional, that's just another step. And, um, you know, I'm looking to, to kind of adapt and, and grow into that role as soon as I can. Yeah. yeah. So every, uh, every team you've been on, have you been the captain of? Yeah, at one point or another. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you were, so, so El Capitan. El Capitan. Some, something like that. El Capitan. Captain, my captain. Yeah. El Capitan. Yeah. Captain, my captain. Uh, yeah. Both uh, both years on the academy, the 16s and the 18s, you were the captain. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, you captained for Denver. You were co-captain last year, right, when they went undefeated? Uh, the no, no, no. I, this was my first year being a captain. And I think, um, you know, leadership comes in a lot of different ways. And, and right. for me, it, you don't have to be wearing the armband to, to have a to role. Be a leader, right. right. So, you know, that's something that I, I took on. And, and in those three years when I wasn't wearing the armband at Denver, um, the staff there, and, and then obviously learning from the older guys who, who right. had been captains, yeah. you, you kind of grow into who you are as a leader even more. So right. It, right. it was a great opportunity for me to learn more about leadership rather than just, you know, here's the armband go right, where it, right. yeah, you know um so there was a lot of things that i learned on how to be a better leader that you know was there i'm really a fortunate for that kind of helped you out or took you under your wing in that sense when you first got there because you were the first one from this area so yeah no somebody that kind of helped you out too yeah there was that? a there was a great captain i had uh I play i was lucky enough to play with him for two years uh blair gerald's uh and uh, he was kind of the guy that everyone respected on and off the field. He, he did everything he needed to do and, and kind of led by example. Nice. Um, and I was very lucky to, to kind of have that's, him. That's part of the thing with uh, Schweitz, too, is uh, when you talk to the, the former academy guys and guys who play with him, uh, they don't pull any punches. Like, if they got something to say about the guy, they'll let don't, you know. Yeah, that's yeah, great. You know what I mean? And 
Schweiss, they always, you know, that's that's their captain. Like, they look up to him on and off the field. You know, the way he composes himself, the way he handles himself, the way he plays on the field, his work ethic is huge to these guys. So that's kind of what I'm excited about. Uh, if we're going to move forward with the youth, is having that, that you know, that keystone out there uh, and the responsibility of someone who could be the captain and still be responsible with the youth and show them yes. kind of like, yeah, you're young, but you got to put that work in. You got to earn your spot. So exactly, and that's what we on the first show of, of this year we had Dom and uh, and yeah. uh, Justin on. Great guys. Which yeah. yeah, and they both talked about you and then yeah. the show. Yeah, and good, they good things. Spoke, oh, oh God. dude, oh, good so glowing, dude, so oh, yeah. glowing. Yeah. They told us a few things we should ask you if we were okay. not going to. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> something about a hotel room and never mind. Don't worry about <laughs> no. it. Okay, we won't go into that. Now you got me thinking. I think everything was. PG, we're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. All PG, all, all PG. Yeah, yeah. But no, but they, but they were very complimentary to really? compliment what you said. It yeah. just absolutely. Oh, yeah. They talked about their captain. They talked about how you were a rock, you were a solid piece there, and that's that's, that's exciting. That's that's and the that's best huge. compliment I can get it's, right yeah, there. I mean, it really yeah. is. I mean, it's huge. It's huge. And coming from yeah. guys like that, that's 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 obviously very flattering to hear. Yep. Very flattering. So. So yeah, the. Um, uh, speaking of Justin, he wanted me to ask you who your uh, favorite Liverpool player is that shares the same initials. Jay Spearing. <laughs> Super J. Super J. So we used, I started Super calling J. I started calling Justin Super J. I think it might have been that first year when he was with the 18s. Yeah. It kind of just always stuck because I think he was wearing 20 with the academy. Yes. Jay Spearing was wearing 20, 20 with Liverpool. Yes, yeah, yeah. The initials mashed up, and we had to run with Perfect. it just because. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Justin hated it, absolutely hated it, because he's like, this guy is just – it's like, he's not a good player. <laughs> <laughs> How is this guy playing for Liverpool? Like, And at that time, pretty consistently. Yeah. So Justin was just furious, and, and, and obviously he's a good sport about it. But, but yeah, Super yeah, yeah. J, yeah, Super, Super J, J Solomon. Right. Super J. So that's that's definitely a nickname for that's, Justin. That's Super J. Yeah. Super Shout J. out to Super J. Yeah, Super and J. don't forget, we're doing uh, Ask Jordan on Sonar hashtag if you want to ask any questions. We have some good ones coming up here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Looking but before we get into that, I want to just talk to you about um, – you coming into the Sounders. So you graduated. Uh, when did you graduate? I'm graduating in June. In June. Yeah. That's so right. I got a little bit of work to do. Okay. But Are you working right out? now? So you're yeah. doing your homework right now. Yeah. Not I, right now. I did a little bit right before I came. Okay. Good. You got to stay on top of it. <laughs> Focus. It'll got eat it. you up. Focus. Yeah. yeah you got to try. So yeah. you signed early. Yeah. So to speak. Somewhat. Before, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somewhat early. Um, you're going to finish your degree in the fall then. Or the spring. June. Hopefully. June, yeah. That's the plan. summer. What made you come? Did they talk to you? Were you? Have you been talking to them all along? Was it kind of a conversation that kind of was all in there together? With Seattle? With Seattle, yeah. yeah. We, it, it happened. It, it was, was quick. No draft. You were like, boom, let's go. And that's kind of how it happened for me. Um, we had been in touch kind of throughout the years, and, and I think – from what I've heard, and at least in my experience, they do a good job with, with trying to keep tabs and, and obviously following these guys that, that are in their system. And that's obviously what you want as an academy kid or, you know, an alumni of the academy is, is you know, these guys are watching, you know, it's, and you're not just out there alone. So um, it, it, it all happened pretty fast for me, honestly. Um, when the, the talks started happening, I had just gotten into the combine. Um, you know, I, I didn't know if I was going to come come back home, and you know, obviously, I kind of prepared myself not to just in case. Um, but luckily, everything all settled down worked and out, yeah. worked out, yeah. and, and obviously, I couldn't be more excited to be, you know, back home where I grew up or around such a good soccer community and and, and obviously a, a great organization. So I'm, I'm very fortunate to to kind of have everything fall into place at the right time for me. Yeah, definitely. You had some uh, you had some pretty great seasons with the uh, U23s too. Speaking about coming back and playing, yeah, uh, and and the great Darren Swatsky. Love Cheers Darren Swatsky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Thank you for all the talent, yeah, Darren. I You're kept, the best. Uh, doing some research, you know, uh, t for the show. Uh, yeah. And as a fan, dude, just, yeah. you know, get to know you too. All right. And his comments came back all the time, man. Darren. Yeah. Darren yeah. was very involved and uh, yeah. a lot of a lot of compliments, man. So yeah. we That's should have Darren on the show, Darren. Let's get yeah. you on here, man. Yeah, no, Darren's great guy. Because then talk about the stars, too. Because yeah. he's down there. Uh, yeah, I've been to a stars. couple games. Yeah, that's right. You were there last, not the last game, but the game before that. I've actually been the last two. Oh, were you? Yeah, because nice. I've, I've been here, so, you know, nice. trying to go out and enjoy and support the community. And, and obviously, those are all guys that I've either played with uh, 23 Absolutely. years or growing yeah, up. Right, and right. it's, it's a cool atmosphere, and indoor is a different game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, wow. 
So, so you were there Friday night. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, that was smacked him. Twelve. Twelve. Oh. Forget the twelve days of Christmas. It's the twelve goals of the Tacoma of the Stars. Stars, man. Damn, it was the awesome. Week before I was at the one before that, yeah. right? And that was this this goal that was a header. It came from basically the opposite side. From yeah, Ra- Ra- Rafi Cox. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Rafi. Wow. That's yeah. Uh, like, yeah. So my dad is old school. He's born in Mexico. Yeah. He, he follows Mexican soccer. He yeah. doesn't. You know, he's not. I didn't think he's gonna like it. But I went, hey, let's go. I didn't even tell him we're gonna go watch soccer. To be honest, yeah, so I said, yeah. let's go get tacos. <laughs> so we went to tacos. I took him to the joint, and then I said, well, yeah. you know what? We're out. Let's go watch. So he's like, what is this? You'll see, it's a little bit of soccer. He's like, what? Yeah. And he wa- went to it, and yeah. he was so into it. Love yeah. it. Like, yeah, really? it's, it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a super, show. Yeah, that's yeah. great. If I can convince right. my dad to like it like that. Yeah, it's got to be good. Y'all got to go. If you haven't gone, you go. check him out. Yeah, so just fun. breaking news, we have a new hashtag. Oh, boy. Hashtag Sounder Super J. Is that starting? It really just started. Yeah. I got nice. I got to tweet that out too. Yeah, Let me get on that when I get a chance. Super J. Emily R. Cummings has started that for Papa Thank you, Emily. Papa Schweitz. Thank you. So I got a uh, Go for it. quote from uh, Sawatsky on you. Uh, Sawatsky was quoted as saying, Jordan is a consummate lifer in soccer. He's the first to arrive and the last to leave, and he improves with each season. And I think that's you know, uh, speaks highly to your work ethic, too. Like, you know, every season you seem to improve. Every season you take that's on the more plan. That's the yeah, plan. That's the plan. But that's what you want to see. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? so, and part of that is taking the responsibility of, of addressing anything you think you know is a shortcoming or something you can improve on. Yeah. That's good to see. It's awesome to see because a lot of young guys carry that ego and they're just like, oh, I'm good, I'm good." Right. You know? So it's nice to hear from Darren. Yeah. All right. So you grew up picking. You grew up here locally. Yeah. yeah. You moved to Denver. Yeah, for school. You signed in the middle of the school year, yeah. so you weren't planning on moving back. So where are you living right now? With the parents. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. If that's not a lady killer, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> with, with the parents. Looking for a place. Looking for a place. You heard that, ladies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looking for a place. Um, no. They said, hey, you're coming back. Preseason starting. Yeah. I just moved all my stuff from Denver. And I said, hey, if you can put up with me, you know, maybe a month. You know, and, and, and luckily my parents, my family, they're great, and, and they're happy to, to have me, and, and obviously I'm happy to see them again. Awesome. It's, it's, it's been a long time, so, yeah. you know. So, As a dad, I'm excited for my, my kids to leave yeah, and maybe come back for a visit or two. Yeah. But for something like this, absolutely. It's great to have you back, but was true. you want to be on your own. Right. The parents want to have their time, yeah. but this is a special case because yeah. it, how often do you get your, your, your kid to come home and play for your After he's getting big to team? a point, a milestone in, yeah. in your, yeah. one of your dreams of your career. Exactly. You've been working at this since you were 14, 12. Yeah. Uh, with academies and yeah. and to be able to be in this close relationship and share that with the family. Uh, speaking of which, circling back on that, so you uh, around what time? Did, what month did you sign? Wow, that would have been, I think, right around start of January. Start of January. And December, start of January. So how was it? How was the signing? The actual signing? Was it at the offices? Or your, were your parents with you? Or did you decide, no, nah, I'm gonna do it with just me, my manager, or just me? Or no, how it, it was uh, it was at home. I signed uh, right before Christmas. So it actually would have been either the 23rd, 24th. So an oh, early literally. Christmas oh, so gift to me. Feliz now it's a total, the, the, yeah, right? The That's not a bad Christmas yeah. gift. Not at all, dude. Yeah. What? Yeah. And I, yeah, it was. 23rd? Yeah. 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 So but, they, you signed on the 23rd. Yeah, that's what. what that's when I got some of my paperwork in, and then right, I had to finish it. Wasn't finish announced till the fifth or sixth, right? Of January. January yeah. yeah. And so that was that was crazy. Uh, I was sitting in class, get a call, um, and they're like, "Hey, we're about to release this. Execute, okay. Be ready." And I didn't really know what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> still, like, still now, I don't know if I would have been prepared. And, and again, it's it's you know, it's Twitter blew some up, people yeah. know. Yeah, some yeah. people know who I am, and obviously, there's a great soccer community here. Oh yeah, very devoted fans and. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting in class, and the Twitter just shut my phone down. <laughs> yeah. So I can't imagine, like, Jordan, like, I don't yeah, understand oh what yeah. he went through. Like, his phone probably was just Is on constantly yeah. going yeah. for yeah. at least an hour or two yeah. hours. And I'm just sitting in class trying to focus and what is going on here and, <laughs> and so no very cool and, and obviously you know some great things uh you know were said and, and it's obviously makes you feel very welcome which which is obviously how a lot of players feel when they come here so um yeah, it's yeah, always it good to fast. get our kids back so man. cool man yeah it's always yeah. good to have you guys return back to the team yeah so. happen no fast question. Sure. no question so um man make sure you frame that first check I have it. I have it somewhere. Oh, you do it already? Yeah, yeah, I think nice. it, it might have been uh, <laughs> someone someone uh, in the organization said, hey, make sure you keep yeah, you know, dude, hold keep on to that. Fit. It's cool. Uh, uh, yeah, keep it. 
Yeah. Keep it. Frame that. It's okay. It's definitely uh, one of those things, man. Later I'm on. I'm going to say mine. Have we got something good? Yeah. So, Perry the Peanut. The Perry the Penalty Peanut. Is that from the stars? It, yeah. Yes. It's watching <laughs> yeah. it right now. Oh, Perry. Shout out to Perry. Perry. What? And Perry just tweeted us one of my favorite movies when Baymax is hugging is Hero. That, uh, Big uh, Hero. Big Hero 6. That's actually yeah, a good movie. Yeah, it's yeah, a great movie. Very good. Hey, if you can make a movie for the kids and adults. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's impressive. Yeah. If, you can get, yeah. if you can get everyone that. That's pretty yeah. awesome yeah, right there. Right, you're right. Yeah. All right, you go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, it's funny, too, about the Stars game. Uh, some yeah. of the supporters saw you in the stands and were like, wait, why is Schweitzer here? <laughs> so the question started coming in, what's yeah. going on with him? And, and uh, I guess uh, you can address them now. Yeah, uh, no, so. What's been second day into official training, uh, pulled up with a little bit of a hamstring. Oh. Um, not how you want to start off, huh? Oh my not at all. Obviously, it's, it's just a, a small road bump. Um, so pulled up there, and, and, and obviously, you're not going to take a guy who, who's not going to be able to train in the time that the guys are down in Arizona. So, um, you know, obviously a little bit gutted not to go on the trip, spend the time with the guys, and, and obviously not to be able to train, but um, the chance to stay here and, and remain focused and, and kind of get done everything you need to do yeah yeah, yeah. treatment wise rehab wise um obviously there's there's still great staff that are around right, here and right. um again with seattle it's like you get you get the best staff that you that's, yeah, dude, that's the, available so that's no joke that's why a lot of teams players when they leave they're not happy that they but like uh barrett you know he was not happy man he wanted to no, so you could tell yeah, that right players want to stay with the organization because right. they do things right with the players so and then i could speak of that you know highly already for for the couple of weeks that i've been here so Getting healthy now, um, you know, hoping to make that LA trip um, and, and get some minutes because you know, obviously, being a young guy, you want to you want to play. I'm itching right now. So you uh, coming into the first day, you already kind of knew the community a little bit, but were you yeah. shocked or how did it feel as a player to walk out in the yeah. monsoon that was pouring the rain, down rain. <laughs> the pouring, pouring down, down rain? rain. Yeah. Yeah. And this guy wore socks and sandals because that's what I do. It was pouring down right. He had no other option. No That's, other all, option. You That's all you own. That's all I own. Yeah, yeah. So yeah good yeah. for you. But how did it feel to walk out to, what, 250 people or so? A good amount of people. How does that feel as a player? How does it as feel? For oh, a it's practice. Great. Oh, it's Not great. just for a game. Yeah, yeah, just to see the excitement from the fans. I mean, it makes you a little bit more excited. I think as a rookie and as a young guy, you know, there's, there's all the excitement in the world. Like, you don't really okay. need an extra push. Yeah, okay. But to see the fans, I mean, it, it – it was reassuring, and, and again, growing up around here and, and obviously seeing the f- support from the fans, yep. If I mean, I would have expected it. I mean, you guys are <laughs> absolutely crazy. Yeah. And, 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 you know, as a fan, loved it. As a player, love it even more. It, it's, it's a very cool community to be a part of. Yeah. And it's like, uh, I'm assuming it's almost like it's like uh, – the way of like saying, man, this is real legit. Like this is legit. This is a real deal. These guys came out. Yeah, it's pouring down rain. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a light sprinkle. It is a good no. Seattle rain, and, yeah, and there's still 250 people out there just excited to to see a training session. Yeah, it's dude. not even like we're we're talking a no. game here. No, so you guys amazing. are just yeah. doing your first day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Running yeah. awesome laps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, another question has yeah. uh, has Brad Evans tried to get you to walk his dog yet? No. <laughs> I actually haven't. Uh, That's a great question. Yeah. Oh, my God. Does I love it. Does he have it. any hazing that he's ran you through yet? I know Don't it's so early. bring this up. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, okay, I didn't know if mind. that was a thing, so now I no, know. It's, it's yeah. a good heads up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I Ask haven't Kovar. met. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Kovar. Kovar. <laughs> yeah. I love well, Kovar. Well, and Andy, too. Andy Craven watched him while they went oh, over to Hawaii. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So, no, I have not yet been asked. I probably will now. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, no problem. But, you know, as a rookie, you got you to take, take whatever you can get. Yeah, right? I heard his dog is lovely. So, yeah. you know, that's, no, that's, that's good to hear. He's got a big following. Let's just put it that way. The, the dog, dog does? The dog has a good I got to check if that you, out. Yeah, that's a great that's one. We'll ask that one yeah. in a minute. Uh, yeah. There's some great questions coming in now. Okay. That's great. We're going to have fun. But I want to ask about you as a player for a minute. Yeah. Talk to you a little bit more about you as a player. Okay. What – is your natural position what's your dream position and i know that your answer will be because you're a smart kid you're not a kid but you're you're you're, you're a I'm, kid you're i'm a feeling kid. more adult you're young i'm growing up <laughs> fast you're a young, young man you're growing up right. fast yes <laughs> i'm taking on a lot of responsibilities yes. here yeah. Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah. what what is your dream position what's yeah. your natural position and where do you think you're going to fit in as you go here i mean as i'd say anywhere it's any chance to play any position um that would be amazing. Don't stick me in goal, though. 
I remember someone <laughs> asking me that question. I am horrendous in goal. Yeah. Horrendous. So huge credit to keepers out there, all you keepers. <laughs> Couldn't do it. You're don't want best. don't yeah. want to do yeah. it. They're a different breed. Yeah. Goalkeepers yeah. are, are really yeah. sure. they're different. And different you gotta breed. respect that. So yeah. my um, daughter is a goalkeeper. Yeah. Trust me, it's a different breed. Yeah. It, it's just right. Like, what are you thinking? Right. You really want to stand there while they all kick the ball at you as hard as they can? Right. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> Don't remind me. Just get your niece peppered. wants to do it, too, right? Oh, gosh. I hope not. I'm going to talk her out of it. Yeah. <laughs> there, there you go. There you go. I, I couldn't handle it, dude, for her. No. Not yeah. her. No. Just, and I couldn't either. Yeah, you know so, I mean? um, but I think for me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a holding center mid. Um, nice. I kind of grew up playing more of the eight box to box. And, okay. and as I went through college and, and kind of uh, developed more, the six allowed me to, to kind of just focus on the things that, that I really do well, that I could help the team the most. I what think are those things that you do really well? Breaking up plays. Breaking up plays. Uh, you know, I think one of the biggest things that I pride myself on is, is positioning. You know, I think um, growing up and, and obviously Brian Schmetzer and, and that staff too, it's it, it was awesome to, to have those might be watching. Goals. He does watch often. Does he? So well, we, well, we love Schmetz. I mean, I mean, he's a great guy. Great and, guy. And, and, the more knowledge that you can pick up from him is the better. I'd, I'd love to just kind of, you know, be a fly on the wall and, and hear what he has to say. But, you know, I remember I had a really good talk with him one time. It might have been in the middle of a game when I was in 18 and uh, we were playing the reserve team. And he just looked at me and goes, hey, I love the fact that you're working hard and you're running. It's like, but some of it is pointless. Some of it is just pointless movement. You're, you're, you're running yourself in the ground. And, and at first I kind of was like, I understand what you're saying, but like, it took me a while to kind of process it. Also, it was mid-game. I'm trying to think about the next pass. And like, <laughs> is this a conversation we have right now? Yeah. Like, but but Brian told you that Schmatz did, yeah. And and it was huge awesome. because, you know, as you get to the next level, as you as you progress as a player, it's not it's it's about being in the right spots, understanding the game, understanding yeah. what's happening, and and so that was huge for me to hear that as an 18 year old, and, and then the chance to go to, to college and, and understand more of your role and positionally how you work with the team and the spots to be in, maybe where you shouldn't be, right, and, right. and how you can kind of be one step ahead of the game in your positioning, and, and obviously you look at a guy like Ozzy, like he's not all over the, f I mean he is all over the field. The man's an absolute yeah. animal, right? He's just yeah. everywhere. No question. But if you look at his positioning, it's. It's exactly where he needs to be so yeah, that he right. can step in, win a tackle, cut off a passing lane. Makes sense. And, and, and it's just because of his positioning is, is, is so, so good. So good, yeah, yeah. And so that's one of the things that I pride myself on. And, and then obviously it's, this is the next level. It's, it's going to be different, faster. You know, you're playing against men yeah. now, more so than the 24-year-olds yeah, in college right, with the right. nice, you know, beard and the, yeah. the man bun going on. Man bun. No bun. Yeah. Man bun yeah. The Gonzaga man bun. No, no man bun. No there was a bun. couple at Gonzaga. Whoa. Oh, my God. There really serious? are. Yeah. yeah there really, really are. Yeah, really? Yeah. There really are. And wow. that's no disrespect <laughs> to the man bun. You're, just, no. you're seeing a lot in college soccer. We are soccer. team, no, yeah, we are team no, 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 no man bun here. I mean, hey, they really did take over. If that's though, your yeah. style, no, you you do it. But uh, so, I don't have enough hair to do it. No, so I can't, see, but. I like to keep it short too. Yeah, you, you can too. maybe do it. Uh, I like to oh, keep it a little close, short, close. so fresh and so clean. Yeah. yeah, so fresh and so clean. There you go. But, Let's go. But things like that, positionally. So kind of like a cross, and I'm not trying to pin this on you because this is it's horrible. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. Because that's my that's my mo. Just you hit me with it. Yep. A Freeberg and an Alonzo, and kind of in that that world of that 6-8 yeah. mixing in there. Absolutely. If you look at existing players yeah. to let the folks know. Yeah, who no, I think, yeah. I think I relate more to Ozzy yes. just in the sense of, of kind of the defensive um, attributes that I can bring. Perfect. Um, but I think obviously Freeberg, I mean, he's a player who can, who can turn defense into attack. Exactly. And, and, and I think that's, that's obviously an amazing quality. So it's something that I would also look to do. And um, I see myself at this point as more of a six. It's, it's what I've kind of grown yeah. used to, comfortable with, especially in college. And, uh, but, it's, you know, I'm not going to limit myself and say, you know, I'm a six. That's, that's no. all I'll play, no, right, obviously. Right, right. But, um, exactly. but, you know, I think as you kind of grow up as a player, you kind of learn more of who you are as a player. And I think that's hard for a lot of kids. You know, I think growing up, you, you want to be the guy that can do a little bit of everything. Right, you're right. You're great at everything. Right, right. right. And, and I think you start to learn that you need to be great at what you do great. Right. And then right. work on the other things yeah. that be you flexible. can improve on. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, right. So on that part, what is the one thing, that first thing that you want to work on? Oh, adapting to the game. I adapting think it's a completely this, different game. Yep. Okay. I think, you know, everyone that comes in to, to the first day of training, or I remember being an academy kid in training, and it's just it's a different speed. And 
and it takes some time to adapt to, which is which is awesome. It's a great challenge, obviously, to, to get in with some of these yeah, yeah, these dude, guys, crazy national team yeah, guys. Yeah. World Cup players. Are uh, I World mean, Cup, yeah. these are these are guys that you want to play with, yeah, right? Yeah. Like and learn from. Yeah, this is so you, you were people in with. You right, know, right. It's awesome. Eight, Ten years ago. So to learn from them, and, and then obviously just get comfortable with the pace, like. There's a lot of things that you're going to have to learn. This is your rookie year, right? Yeah. Like, that's what I've been trying to tell myself. Like, there's a lot yeah. to learn, and, and I'm just excited to kind of learn as much as I can. I'm a sponge right now. Uh, two things. I got yeah. a question for you. But first thing, uh, when people watch you play, I want to make sure that, that they watch you on the field. And when you're back there, you're like a field general. You're telling people, you know. You love that, you that little I hashtag, that. don't you? Because you never yeah. see that anymore. Yeah. It's one of those things that used to be ingrained in kids, and they just it, like, goes away. For some reason, they don't do it, and it, it it's it falls on the role of the keeper now. And and yeah. it's good to have your keeper doing that. But if you have someone in midfield in mid, that's yeah, keeping everyone yeah. shape correct and keeping them you know where they need yeah, to be, totally. it helps out a ton. So I was watching you at uh, practice doing that to some of the old heads, and I was I was gonna kick out of that because uh, <laughs> it's a narrow field, but right. everyone bunched in, and you're over yelling at him, get on the way, you know, yeah. pointing point where he needs to be. I think you know, and obviously just, you got to do it in the right way, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but I think um, you know, I think that's that's something that that I bring to the table as well, like understanding yeah. my role and, and and doing the best that I can in my role, and, and you know, allowing everyone else around me to do theirs, right? And right, if that's right. helping them with you know one step left, one step right, yeah. Um, I just think that. You know, talking to the older guys, you know, hopefully I think, you know, there's no malice. There's, I obviously, you know, it's just, it's just kind of like, hey, like, if we can do this together. Let's we can, do we it, can, yeah. Let's, let's no, do communications. It. Let's, yeah. let's do it the best that we can. Field, communications is important. So Absolutely. It's really awesome to see that uh, come out of just the box and have it, you know, no, especially in the you. midfield thank where you. everything kind of happens. So you're more of that, that field general. It's cool to see that because not a lot of people have that um, ability to, to get people – you know, aligned and where they need to be. Oh, and then a uh, great question in the chat room here was uh, what Hicks, we got? Hicks, Hicks Dre. Yeah, Hicks Dre had uh, which sounder is Sounder Super J? So I guess uh, that's what they're calling you now. They're calling me Super J now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hashtag Sounder Super J is your oh, nickname goodness. now. Oh. How did that happen? It turned uh, from a, a Jay Spearing Justin Solomon joke into to to me now you are. Super yeah. J. Hashtag Hashtag Sounder thanks, Super J. That backfired. <laughs> that backfired <laughs> fast. Yeah. Uh, Sol fine. Solomon's got some friends, I guess. Uh, he does, quick. <laughs> but, uh, He's a friendly guy. Uh, who, who are you most excited to learn from and why? On the existing sound. On the existing Ooh, team. Solid question. Yeah. Great, great question. Yeah. That's hard to say. I mean, I think everyone brings – I mean, everyone's got a, a different background, different stories, and I think trying to learn from everyone is, is obviously what you want to do because it's all about perspective, right? It's, right. You know, someone sees – it's just like in the game. You see a different pass than someone else might or they see a different pass than you do. So to – to look at it that way, I'm, I'm excited to learn from everyone. I think with Ozzy being in that six role, I mean, he's a guy that I used to watch in the academy. Right. See his positioning, see right. see what he's doing, you know, when he's not on the ball, what's he looking at, what's how's he how's he set up. So I think that's a guy that I'm I'm excited just to to watch and learn from in that sense. Oh um, my God. But so all awesome. all the old all okay old's a strong word. All the all the guys that have been in the league for for you know years and have have obviously done it. They, you know they've they've walked the walk. They've they've, they've talked the talk. Right. They've been Those pros. are guys right. that, that I want to learn from because there's nothing like you know people who have done it. Yeah. Been there, done yeah, that. Yeah. For sure, they, they they can drop that, share that knowledge, uh, and like you said, man, being able to to. Learn from a little bit from everybody because everybody's gonna have different uh, experiences, Absolutely. different ways that they they developed as a pro. So, so it's a great experience, man. I, that's so cool, man. So I'm, cool. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. There was another uh, another question from the room. Uh, uh, Bread Evans uh, wants to know if you guys can be friends. Okay. Uh, we'll have to meet. And uh, I, I feel already like, like the, I he like would the Twitter. Be a super great friend. So Bread Evans super is the sister of Constellation and Company. So Sarah from Constellation and Company. They're a, le they're a letter plus company. Okay. Shout out but to Constellation fortunately, company. I messed up, so I need to get your signature at a later date. We okay. have actual coasters that are sonar feed coasters. Oh, that's great. That I need you to sign for me. Yeah, so we can absolutely. Have this. But Constellation Company and Beth, a.k.a. Okay. Brad Evans. Love is, the Twitter handle, by the way. That's great. Yeah, it's awesome. Great. That's great. Brett, she was, she's awesome. She's a junior in high school okay. and just super she awesome. Wants to so take job. She, she's, Does she? Yeah, she GM. wants to be a GM. Oh, that's very cool. That's yeah. awesome. That's ambitious. That's awesome. You got to love ambition. Very ambitious. You have to love it. Of, uh, I wasn't that ambitious when I was at age. No. 
No. Like, I would be we like, were I doing would, different things at 16 than yeah. she is. Yeah, yes. yeah, for sure. Like, so, uh, sure. But look at you so guys real now. Quick, here is the picture of... This is the ODP one? This is the yeah. 2010 uh, Olympic Development Program. So I do they even here. have that anymore? Are you are you in? Oops, sorry, so yeah, right I'm there. the guy with the, with the hat, hat backwards. backwards. That's okay. Let's make uh, this clear right now. I'm roller. not a backwards hat guy you're like that at all. <laughs> no, not like that. I, well, I, you're I, next. I, I can do that. You're, you're next to Stefan. Yeah, because yeah, Stefan. So Stefan's by the coach. This? Okay, so we got. So Stefan's by the coach with the hat sideways. No, no, no. Dom's not. He's Dom was a year older. Oh no, no, no. So yeah. Yeah, right here. Right there. Right there. Oh yeah. Right here. That was. There's right there. No, that's not Steph. Oh, no. That's Steph. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm all the way. Yeah, yeah, they're enjoying this, <laughs> yeah, huh? There you go, right there. Uh, we also got to talk about this, this, this photo see. you found here. Oh, we will. That's what what God, that's <laughs> brutal. Yeah, yeah. That's brutal. There's Schweitzer. There so is. that Schweitzer is a right there. very young that was Schweitzer. 2010. That was six years ago. Wow, that's Jeff Collings. His dad. Yeah, Jeff Collings off to my right that I'm looking at, my right. Yeah. Um, wow, yeah. And if you actually scroll down, you'll see Jordan Morris. Looking you ready for that? Go front row. Morris is right there. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah sure this is Jordan. Jordan Morris. Look at That's that. That's Vincent Nguyen. What? He is Jordan Morris. There is Look Jordan Morris right there. Look how excited he is to win stuff. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. that make you happy? Oh, my God. Man. Everyone had their hat What backwards. a smile. Was oh, Pinkerfee Pink 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 Jr. huge? Damn. <laughs> Might have been. <laughs> was, that, was that the year Griffey? Might have Love it. Oh, no, good, no, he was done by then. In 2010. And then Stefan's mom posted another one, too. Of like an even younger ODP oh my photo. God, oh, you really? You're I was looking for that one. I couldn't find that. That one. one's brutal. I got, yeah, yeah. yeah. I could yeah, probably no, find that. Uh, I could find that one. Yeah. That's like that's like all those. That's all the same guys. That's the Steffens, the Michael Gallagher. Right. Those are the guys I grew up with. And then we have a question here from a ten-year-old, Evelyn, would like to know what is your favorite part about playing soccer? She my is the daughter part? of Adam, who does the streaming for S2. Oh, very He's cool. a good friend of the show, yeah. great guy, Bootstrapper Studios. They do great work. Awesome. So uh, she would like to know, what is your favorite part of playing soccer? That's a great question. That's a hard question. That's a hard question, yeah. Wow. You're making me work for this one. Oh, that's good, job. For, yeah. good job. Good job. Very, very good job. Um, wow. I think getting oh the chance to wake up and, and, and go play with, obviously, some of the guys that you grew up with, um, the competitive nature of it, uh, it's hard to kind of – put your finger on you know why we like this game so much huh For it's sure. a brutal game dude, sometimes dude, it is, but, but but to go out there and, it, and play the game that i yeah. love um something that obviously i've been doing for a little bit of time yeah, now the, the plus. i just i think the chance to go out there and compete with some some guys and, and obviously now you know some of the, the best guys in the nation you know i think that's the most exciting part is is to to, to have that opportunity to, to train at a high level and compete so cool, it's man. fun it's fun so Sarah and oh. Brad Evans both say that you have great hair, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Very like, good hair. Thank that's you. That's why the backward hats is not in your but That's why it's not. Right Next here. to Michael Gallagher, yeah, the Gallagher. UW legend. Pull back just a little bit. There's so many guys there in go. that. Actually, you can oh see God, you awesome. can see Jordan Morris, which looks like he's almost got a little bit of a frost and tips look. Uh, right, here. right here? I think, no, that might not actually be him. I'm trying to think. There's Henry Wingo is the guy Wingo. just below me. And what a player he is, too. Right here, yeah. Plays for UW now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it's awesome. Good. That's another this brutal is so one. Cool, man. This, man, you're this making talent. me come back. All this this is so nostalgic. Right there, so man. if you remember on previous episodes, like I said, it's a very small, tight-knit community. Yeah. So when you mess with one of them, when you don't do, treat them right, <laughs> it spreads. So as a, as a, uh, as a uh, team, when you don't treat someone right, Word spreads about that, so you got to treat your guys right. You got to make sure you take care of them. Otherwise, people find out about it, and it doesn't look good for the franchise. Right. So, right. Makes sense. All right. So yeah, another question good. from Twitter coming in on the right. Ask Jordan on Sonar. Right. Great. Hashtag. What's your favorite Tacoma Stars mascot? And remember, Perry is watching. <laughs> oh. This is coming from Emily, not no not, not from this Perry. This is brutal. No so pressure. okay, so let me let's go through them. We I'm got the peanut. The we got the star. star, star. Which. Is it really? It's like, it's an awkward star. It looks. It's it doesn't. It doesn't look. Tell it how it is. Awfully yeah. star-like. It's starish. Starish. We could do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's got its points. What's yeah. the other one? What's the point? There's a the Golio. A Golio. The. Which one's it's, that? It's the uh, wo the the coyote. Oh, it's the, the coyote. Cat, like yeah, 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 yeah. It's the giant cat. I'm gonna have yeah. to go the peanut. The peanut. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then yeah. Perry like apparently Perry's Perry watching. Perry brings the jam. Go. Yeah. But yeah. if you guys have been at halftime when Perry uh, takes the ball. Yeah. Kind of with the costume. Yes. Yeah. 
I mean, the halftime Dude. shows are there. I liked how he got, a red, he got right? a red card uh, in the first uh, period. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah, have to go hilarious. with Perry because the, the star is not yeah. doing it for me. Yeah. And and I've never the cat just kind of seems like he's just kind of odd. hanging yeah. out in the back. Yeah, no kinda disrespect. Like the lead man for Coldplay at the Super Bowl, and he was trying Ooh. to just be there and. It was all Beyonce and, and uh, what's his name? And he was just kind of Bruno just, Mars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So wow, yeah. you just well, I mean, comparing <laughs> the cat to Coldplay is a, it's a pretty big comparison. <laughs> know, right? Good dad joke. Huge yeah. comparison. Yeah. Yeah. But um, but no, I'd have to go with the peanut. He seems like he's the nice. the most active. He he knows what he's doing out there. He knows how to get yeah, the crowd going. He's oh yeah. He's a, oh yeah. You know. So Lickett had a question. I need to go back all the way to back here. This was um, one of the first ones. Yeah. I have it here. You saw the picture. That we used on the post today, right? Because and I was giving him a hard time because I yeah. saw that picture. Yeah. yeah. So what are you staring at in the photo, and is that your best blue steel? Because you know this weekend is Zoolander too, obviously. Yeah. So. Yeah. The first one was great, huh? Yeah, we'll see the I'm second one. Worried about the second one. I'm you gotta I'm be worried about it. It's a sequel. sequel. You, never you never know. know. Exactly. Yeah. 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 He won't do wrong. He will not do wrong. We'll see. We'll see. That's. I'm glad. Ah. Great photo. You knew you you knew this was coming <laughs> up because I saw it out of the corner of my eye. So this was actually this would have been uh, last year. One of the fraternities on campus at DU was doing it, it's called Data Beta, and I hope that video is not out there somewhere. Oh, <laughs> oh. I hope we got to mine. Mark, mine Mark, for it. So, mine for it. so Data here's here's your chance. Data okay, beta. it might be out there. So what it was is it's uh, <laughs> is a date auction. Quick, do your work. So what you do is uh, you know they give you a hundred bucks. They say, hey, you come up with this date idea, an awesome date idea, um, and then it's all for charity. So it was a, a charity fundraiser. So you so and here here's how I got dragged into this. My captain at the time goes, hey, oh we're gonna do this this date auction thing. You know it goes to charity. It's, it's great and, and it's obviously for the community, and and I'm all for for community service and helping out. And, and I was like, okay, well, I didn't really know what was going on. And he goes, yeah, you're going to be involved in this thing. You know, they're looking for a couple of soccer guys. And I said, perfect, you know, have a couple of the guys. It, it'll be great. And a week later, I get a text from the guy who's uh, running this. And he goes, hey, you know, looking forward to having you. Goes on. And, and I was like, oh, right, yeah, how many guys do you need? He goes, no, 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 just you. Just you. Fine. <laughs> just you, yeah. So, and nice. I'm getting this text as I'm sitting next to the, the, the casting that we had. And I'm livid oh yeah livid yeah. because now it's just me and it was brutal so i i, I came up with my my date idea i think it was okay i think it was okay it was right. uh an avs game and dinner downtown denver oh, i thought solid. that was okay and solid. and you know it's something to do it's, it's a sporting yeah. event you can get yeah. out and so it's not too awkward there's something to kind of you know you're not yeah, just sitting across exactly. but then they get you up there and you're you're auctioned off legitimately they're an auctioneer. So wait, are you saying this is something we should do for Sonar Feed FIFA tournament <laughs> next year? I think I think Gervin here should be auctioned off <laughs> for a day. Let me ask your wife. <laughs> hey Lonnie, can we oh, auction him off? There you go. It's if it's hey, it's for charity. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, yeah. So so I had to go through that whole process, <laughs> and this was one of the photos that the guy How do you say no they were doing that? it you for the website. For yeah, he right, he right, was yeah. like, hey, let's do a couple photos, and I didn't know what I was getting myself into, and I'm just like, get me done with this. <laughs> And it's brutal because I think Darren or someone oh. with the 23s used that as well. Oh, my wife is way too good at Google. Uh-oh. Oh, oh she, no. Oh, did she, she find it? it? Oh, no. Wow. This is not oh, what I needed. Lonnie, you are a magician. <laughs> Let's have her tweet that. Date a beta philanthropy, philanthropy event. See, it's for a good cause. We'll have annual. tweeting out for you guys shortly. Well, you guys raised more money for this than, you, than we did for Sunner Feed FIFA tournament. It's not, it's, wow. That's not a competition. I know it's, it's for not. charity. It's for charity. <laughs> but I'm just saying, this is... How hold, we're gonna raise on, more on. money next year? It's just hold something on. to help. Hold on, I'm not, I don't care about. Let's show this later. <laughs> I'm going. Whoa, is that this is, that, is that Donovan? It looks like Landon Donovan. No, there's no nipples showing. Oh, what's okay, that? Yeah. <laughs> we are totally doing that next year. Thank you for helping hey, us out. I we're just, gonna hey, raise twenty five thousand dollars. If it's for oh, charity, is. if it's for charity. You can tweet this out later. Did she actually find that? Yeah, she actually found, found it. it. Yeah. Okay, but there's no video, right? Is it? Oh, there better not be a video. Let's see if I can get the. Uh, I don't see the video just, yet, but there's the. It's video. just the picture. 
Good. Okay. So so now there's proof that at least it was for a good cause. There's yeah. not just a random senior like <laughs> photo of Your me. story jives now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you had a, a wow. great blue steel there, yeah. Yeah. So. No, you're, no, you're sometimes like I like to just go out and take photos. <laughs> Internet just well. yeah. looking yeah. at scenery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. All right. So, so we'll, it's for we'll a good cause. Out after the show. But that's I, great. Brutal. And you brutal. gave us ideas for next year's event. Hey, so it's a charity option. Yeah. There you go. Absolutely. So let's let's talk about that because we talked about we talked about this before the uh you heard it your first. Oh. So be, before we started the show, we talked about your involvement in the community. Yeah. You're wanting to be involved in the community. Absolutely. And that excited me because we obviously work with Lamar because Lamar is a great, a great, great local. guy. Yeah. It's back to the two five three like versus four two five. Yeah. yeah. But as Sonar Feed, one of the things we uh, we like yeah. to do is we like to drink. Obviously, we have a good time. Yeah. Uh, we like to do the sh- we talk about soccer, go yeah. to soccer events. That's great, right? But then really, <laughs> it's about else coming up? Oh, going back to the community the and being involved in the community, and that's what you want to do. Yeah. And that's fantastic. So, Absolutely. do you want to talk about that at all? Like, what are you? What are you? How would you like to go forward from here? I mean, I think Lamar is a great example of 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 how you can make it work. I mean, here's a guy who grew up in the community. Um, you know was away from the community, came back, yeah. and, and it's just, I think that gives you a lot of perspective yep. of how great this community is and, and, and obviously totally. what you can do for the community. So I think, you know, I think it's really early on for me to say what exactly I'm going to do. Um, of course. But, but as many, how do I put it, as many community service projects, as, 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 yeah. as many, you know, Watch out chances for these that two I can do. over here because they work yeah. at ECS, so be careful. Okay. Those no, no, I am happy. Heard you. I will say I'm happy to help. I'm happy to help. We happen to have the ECS president yeah. in the, in the or, uh, co-president Shout out yeah. to in the house. And, uh, and I'll say it. I'll say it to you. I'm, I'm happy to help out. I think, yeah. I think whatever you can do to give back, whether that's, that's just, you know, an appearance saying hi, you know, I think it means a lot and, and, and hopefully it means a lot. I mean, it's, it's oh, obviously no something that, that I wouldn't do unless, you know, I saw value in it. And so I think a chance to kind of give back to the community that has given me so much, has given me so many opportunities. No question. In, in whatever way possible, I, I'm, I'm happy to help. Yeah. I'm happy to help. And you've been involved uh, in the past with the, uh, the camps, the Sounder camps for kids oh, yeah. and stuff as a coach. Oh, yeah. And, uh, we were talking earlier about uh, at Denver you were doing the, uh, a program to send uh, clothes over to Thailand. Soccer that, gear? That would have been my senior year of high school. That oh, was my senior was project. Senior high, yeah, okay. I worked with um, Matt Renica, yeah. another academy kid. I went Which, to the same high school. I'll, I'll tweet out a great photo uh, Matt tweeted of you, the two of you sharing a special moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Matt sometimes likes a little bit of a bedtime story, apparently. Yeah. So really? he know, sat gotta and talk was to reading Matt or bedtime story. Well, yeah. I mean, That's when he's, he's yeah, kid, yeah. And, and obviously, you know, he was a guy that when I was in 18, he was in the, what was would have been the pre academy. Yes. So he yeah. kinda he was a freshman, that would have been my junior year of high school. So he's someone that I, you know, obviously with the younger guys, you, you want to help out as much right. as you can. You've been there and I think that's another thing that you know I want to do is obviously for the younger guys or the academy kids coming in, whether that's just a training session or a game, you know as much help as I can be, I want to help out because you know I've been through that right. experience and yeah, I want right. to try and make it as, as smooth as possible for them coming in. But yeah, absolutely. and you were coming um, back in your summers to kind of do that work with the academy and, yeah. and work with kids, right? Absolutely. Just get back to them in, in essence. Trying to as much as I can. So, you know, I think that's that was a, a senior year thing where uh, fundraised. I actually uh, um, one of the Hendersons uh, actually gave me a lot of gear. Um, and so, obviously, that's a great family as well, and, and, and a huge yeah. soccer family oh, yeah. out here. So, yeah, um, yeah the uh, the Hendersons Yo. are great. So, um, to kind of round up as much gear as I could, and, and, and Matt and his family every two or three years. I don't know if they do it anymore, but they would make a trip to Thailand where they throw on a couple clinics. So I rounded up a bunch of gear and sent them uh, a bunch of gear over to Thailand, and, and the photos we got back were great. These, these are kids who were were pumped to you know have cleats, something that we're you know pretty fortunate to get. So. Yeah. Uh, we're cool. trying to confirm that there's going to be some kind of event in Mexico, and we're yeah. hoping to have some kind of special visitor the week before the, vis- the okay. trip. Okay. We haven't gotten confirmation yet, okay. but we will probably do something uh, that week before okay. no if everything goes well, regardless. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'm not what's sure. happening? Yeah. We're going to beat a first division team after we lost to a second division team today. <laughs> hey, it's just preseason. It's yeah. just preseason. I know. It's yeah. not, I'm saying it for you. Not for I know, you. I know. I know. No, trust they were me. Trying I, know. I have things. a little bit of sarcasm in my uh, It's good, though. It's good. Yeah, you got to have a good time. Just a little bit. 
Yeah. All right. So Snap Happens, who is a good friend of the show. Darla. Yeah. A Darla. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to now that you're wearing the Sounders FC jersey? Yeah, that's her. This is part of the Ask Jordan on Sonar questions. Not the Super J. We should squash that now. <laughs> yeah, don't bring it back up, man. You got to just let it fade. You brought it up. So no, no, no. Yeah. It'll go. Yeah, it'll go. Yeah. It'll go. Um, my favorite memory, um, I was fortunate enough to go to the, uh, the inaugural game. Oh, um, yeah. And I think when you hear the drums, when you – when the fans start to get going, yeah, boom, boom, clap. I mean, that if that doesn't yeah. give you chills, yeah, they, I don't know what what will. Dude, I, I, um, I've said it here before, and I'll say it again, man. Unbelievable, and I think that's when you know. I think a lot of kids were like, "Wow, like <laughs> I want to do this. Yeah, this yeah. like this yeah. city oh, yeah. was yeah. like we this can do this." For my friends, this is yeah. legit. This yeah. is yeah. cool, this is the real deal. Yep. Like this is happening, and and I think, you know. As I said, just the chance like to throw the jersey back on again. You know, I didn't know maybe you know PDL was going to be the last time I got to throw yeah. on a Sounders kit. And right. um, you know, I think obviously understanding the city and, and, and the connection that the city has to, to the team, I'm just proud to, to have the opportunity to to wear it again. And, and, and whether that's you know with S2 or the first team or whenever I get the chance, just I think being around this organization and, and this, fan, this 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 fan group. Can we even call you? Oh yeah, a fan no group, no question. A super cult, uh, yeah. Yeah. Super, super fans. Fan I mean, fans, you guys yeah. are are unbelievable. So, the chance to kind of go out and, and, and obviously play, win games, win trophies, and to share that with the fans, with with the people I grew up with, I think that's the most exciting Huge, thing. Yeah. It's, it's, that's oh, yeah. fantastic. Great answer. It's but that that first moment when I heard, I mean, if I mean that just that was huge. It's very yeah. cool. So I think we should take a break from real questions. Now we're going to get funny here. And now we're going to go into some of our <laughs> questions. We also really have a couple here. Ones. These are the most important ones. This, yeah. is, this is the cutting this, this edge is, I'm going to kick off reporting. with not one of ours, but it's a great question. Okay. Today is. is National Pizza Day. I saw that. Uh, and, sh- and Shield K2 on Twitter. Okay. Kyle. Pizza Shout King. Kyle. Pizza we, okay. Kyle. We are Kyle. Pizza Kyle. We are Kyle. This is Soccer Kyle. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know. For, I don't know. Actually, do, do we have a Kyle for you? Uh, we are Kyle. We're a collective. We are Kyle. Okay. Yeah. We're just a collective of Kyle. Kyle. They're yeah. starting. Yeah. It's like a yeah. Kyle group. It's yeah, weird. They all have one brain. They call themselves Ish. We Are Kyle. They share a brain. We just all share the same name. Yeah. Yeah. So you just made a group? So we're yeah. just, we oh, are Kyle. Respect yeah. that. Like, like yeah. Back in the day when you had like the six Jordans on the team, it would have been like, we are Jordans. The, the yeah. Jordan group? Yeah. 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 We have yeah. Bird Kyle. We have Pizza Kyle. We have Soccer Kyle. So we this have is Pizza Kyle. Kyle. Pizza Kyle. Yep. Pizza so Kyle would like to know, from how Pizza did Kyle. you celebrate National Pizza Day? I actually did have some pizza. What? Not yet. Nice. So we had some leftover pizza from uh, the Super Bowl. So nice. I had some leftover Costco pizza Perfect. for lunch nice. today. It was now, good. I, I'm was speaking good. for Kyle. Yeah. What's leftover pizza? <laughs> <laughs> There's never leftover. So for him, he just he gets right? all, yeah, 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 yeah. eats it all. Everyone here is like, no, you're not wrong. He eats That's, it all. It's yeah. just pizza. So exactly. <laughs> my question to him then is I'd love to see him finish an entire Costco pizza. <laughs> if you want to sit down, we will facilitate that. <laughs> like, it will happen. He might, he really? Might, like, Challenge That's accepted. brutal. Make it happen. That Challenge is brutal. Accepted. I'll pay for the pizza. <laughs> I would love to see that happen. If you get him on the show, <laughs> yes. I will I will pay so for the pizza. Let me tell you about Kyle for a minute. Because okay. Pizza Kyle is unique the best. for a lot yeah. of reasons. He drives from Yakima for Every games. game. From he Yakima. Drives over yeah. 6,000 miles yeah. a year to support the Sounders. Every game he goes to. He, uh, it's and his sister Sarah. Yeah. The more stories I hear, yeah. I mean, I've said from day one, like, and obviously being growing up in this community, I've said, like, I just don't think there's better fans out there. And the more stories I hear like this, it's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. very cool. And, and, and that makes me really proud to, to be in this organization. Let's when, go. When, when there's fans like that, that's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a, that is a drive. I, I, I get mad about my yeah. drive from Everett to Tukwila in the morning. Yeah. So, I, I mean, that just puts everything like, into perspective. Uh, yeah, exactly. It does. And that's it amazing. For every game. Yeah. They come up That's every huge. Every yeah. That's huge. Turn up, yeah. Two years ago, we His all drove. His sister to Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Yeah. We all drove. So they drove 6,000 miles for regular season games. And then we drove to L.A. and we drove to Salt Lake that year together as well for the games. It's yeah, amazing. So, and not just yeah. us, but every – I mean, when you look at this community here, yeah. everybody here like A lot of folks here have gone some really long And they just go to trips. away games. Actually, yeah. We were talking about that a little bit, and that's, that's unheard of. It's that's crazy. That's awesome. It's awesome. I know we're naming our car this year, though. 
Oh, yeah? Special J. Special J. <laughs> special J. Uh, how about Super J? Not Super Special J. J. Oh, Super J. No comment. He was like, Super no J. comment. So, so, you didn't want to go with Super, so I'm flipping it. Yeah? Well, that's pretty good. It's not bad. <laughs> so uh, Adam will definitely stream Kyle eating a pizza. There okay. we go. Good, Sarah good. says it's the pizza challenge of 2016. There you go. And so have Brett you had a previous says, one? What? Have you had a previous pizza challenge? We have not yet. No. All right, so yeah, yeah, so no, yeah. happy to be an inaugural yeah, yeah. pizza yeah. challenge yeah. supporter. You've given us a way to make more money next year by ro- auctioning off the eligible men. Fair. Ish. Fair. And offered up a slot for your own, I assume. I don't know if I could repeat that it's again. It's for charity, Jordan. <laughs> for charity. <laughs> Jordan, it's for charity. Okay, if yeah. it's for charity, His wife then said yes. We can auction him off. Yeah. Deal. All right, deal. Yeah. No, if it's if it's for hey, a good yeah, cause, thanks, yeah. I'm in. Yeah. All right, so that's okay. It is it? Oh yes. There nice. You go. So is that so Costco pizza? Is that a, of my choice? Yes. Of Jordan's okay. choice. It's on. Yeah. Okay, it's Kyle it a, said it's on. Of my choice, or let's clear that up. Supreme. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. choice. Go for it. it, it it'll He'll accept. accept. It. He'll okay, accept. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. He will not turn yes. down a free pizza. No, he won't. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's a good man right there. <laughs> All right, so let's go into some of Sonar Feed's let's normal do questions. It. Let's do it. This is an important one. Okay. With your name, it wasn't interesting. Big E or Tupac? Big E. Let's go. Yeah. Papa Schweitz. Okay. Big, yeah. Papa yeah, Schweitz. Okay. It's hard. Yeah. Love it. You, you want to go into your... Uh, uh, well, before I go into that one, the one that I uh, was... It's, a, it's really known as a sonar feed question, too. And okay. Somebody mentioned it. Uh, Britt mentioned it, and yep. Tom mentioned it both. So and my daughter sells Girl Scout cookies, so if yeah. you want a name, oh, yeah. let me know. Yeah. I can hug and hug now you. This, it's now, this it's a thing. <laughs> this is actually... This will put actually, you on either is, side of the aisle. Yeah, this actually, is this is probably the yeah. most important question we answered. Am I getting any background here? Do yeah. I? No, no, no nothing. No. Nope. All right, just no. go with your girl. We'll do it live. Keep it real. We'll do it live. Throw me into this Remember, be very careful in your answer. What is your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Samoas or Samoas? Someone's biased here. Someone's yeah. biased. So, th- the actual, so the actual question is, what is your favorite Girl Scout cookie? I can choose any. any. I mean, what is your favorite? It's, group. It's, it's really between the Samoas and Thin, and thin Mints, right? Mints. right? You can't really, right. I mean, it's kind of rude to go anywhere. Team Tagalongs are a strong third. <laughs> so like I think, frozen? I think <laughs> like a frozen I Thin Mint is too, actually. <laughs> I think tagalongs are everyone's I, like side okay, chick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone so likes wow. them, but no one wow. wants to commit to them. That's yeah, yeah. The okay. tagalongs are the tots. Well, that <laughs> changed oh a little bit. Wow. There you go. Oh god, and I just, I'm weird. sure I'm getting hate tweets right now for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Staying away from that. So <laughs> I think if I have a choice, I'm gonna have to go Samoa. I'm sorry. Let's go. Yes! I just think. Yes. 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 Maybe if you, you if well. you put the Thin Mints in the freezer, it's give them a, a little time, no, that's it is. pretty good. It is a game there, changer. Th- there's yeah. a reason you've been the captain on all the teams you've been on, sir. You make good choices. You're a leader. I'm trying to be. Let's go. I, I just oh, think there's tired. just Let's so go. much in a Samoa. I just think I'm you a, can't go wrong with it. I'm going to yeah. get you a box of Samoas. <laughs> uh, I'm looking got you. forward to I got it. You. I got a connection. Yes. I got a connection. You got a great connection, it sounds like. We got we got some cookies coming your way, some Samoas. All right. Now, Hard. just as important. What is your favorite? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. What is your favorite uh, team uh, outside of the U.S.? Oh, good question. Grew up a Liverpool fan. Whoa. Wait, you were wait really? I might be the only <laughs> non-Arsenal. Wait, you guys lost today. Wow, the crowd is helping <laughs> no. out. <laughs> Oh, it's brutal in back. here. This is the hot seat. It's brutal. It is a hot seat. Um, Wait, what I grew Arsenal? up a Liverpool fan. They're always our except for yeah, okay. yeah. I don't think I had. Once I got to the academy, there are very, very few Liverpool fans. No, they're all Arsenal very fans. Few. Yeah. Every one Especially of them was in Arsenal. my class, it was Arsenal, few. United. And Arsenal, and Arsenal, and, and Arsenal. And more Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. again, growing up, I think you got to respect Arsenal. Like, the, yeah, the Thierry Henrys, the oh, the, of course, the, the Vieira, the Lombards. Lombards. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you you love you love watching that team, the invincible, yeah, like, unbelievable, invincible. But yeah. Liverpool fan, uh, grew up watching Stevie G. Stevie That's G. someone that I love to watch. <laughs> you and Steph had some great, yeah, conversations. yeah, we yeah. always did. That's Steph's um, favorite player too, Stevie G. Stevie G. I mean, and I kind of grew up. I mean, 2005 is Jimmy Triori. Not many people talk about that goal That's line true. clearance. Oh my oh, yeah. God. Unbelievable. Ah, dude, that was nuts. Unbelievable. So I think I grew up and, and yeah. kind of 
the first jersey I ever got actually was a Liverpool jersey. Oh, really? And I, I kind of, and that's before I really got into the game. And uh, it's, I guess it's, it was uh, fate, I guess, in the sense that I, uh, I, I picked Liverpool. But Liverpool, right, so, Istanbul, oh. everything. It's, it's you know, great club. That's a, uh, who was your first uh, soccer jersey? Ooh. Do you guys remember? Mine, yeah, Chivas. What player? Uh, I didn't have a player. Yeah, just, see, I didn't have Chivas? a name Chivas on the back. Chivas USA, really? <laughs> 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 Brutal. Brutal. What about not you? Not really. Uh, my first, I actually do not own a personalized. What, name on the back? Name on the back other than my own. Huh. Okay. Uh, 12. I, I use 12. Okay. So the first jersey I ever bought, and actually the only jersey I've ever bought was Lofa Tatupu, 51, oh, for nice. the Seahawks. Wow. Okay. That is the only that name was. jersey that's I a, own. That's a good player. Yeah, Lofa's And, and good you know choice. what? Actually, saying that out loud. Did you say Lofa? Lofa. Yeah. You that said is, Lofa? I did. That is the only named jersey I own. Like, seriously, the only one I own. Why do you got again? Why, why again? Lofa came in kind of. I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to kind of compare to you. I'm not putting that on you, but you kind of came in like you. Unassuming, we didn't know what he was going to be. Right. He was the captain on the defense. He yeah. took a defense that was okay, yeah. and he played box to box. Again, yeah. I'm putting soccer words on right, it. Right, right. But he played doing, a different yeah. He's doing well way. He's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that was the first because I always bought like 12 for okay. the football fan or whatever, right? Makes I mean, sense, yeah. cheesy ish, but whatever. Hey, do your thing. But I didn't want to do. I always <laughs> do, do your my thing. thing. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, I, always, I always do my <laughs> thing. Hey, do your thing. Do, it. <laughs> do your thing. He figured me out <laughs> in like five yeah, seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Well, childish words. Do you. I said, do your thing. You're talking about childish. Childish? Just. You had to go there. Yeah. No, no, no. But but he had that ability to take uh, the team and and get him get them, but the whole team on his side yeah. and carry them Great player, or give yeah. them the right directions to be where you want to go. So as right. a rookie. So yeah, as a rookie. Yeah. As a uh, rookie. Yeah. That was so, huge. and that's what I I I see you as a 17, 18 core piece of it. So just because the way the team's built. And I think that's an we'll honest see. anyway. So, yeah, so that we'll was my see. first one. So, awesome. Good one. Yeah. Great answer. So uh, yeah. let's go on to more fun ones, though. He went, he went in depth it. there. Yeah, he really did. I went way to too a different depth. sport, but he, it. he, but he came. It. He tied it all together yeah. again. It was impressive. Yeah. He's a politician. He's, he, he, By the way, we are looking for a president. Would you like to run for president? Yeah, absolutely yet, not. <laughs> absolutely not. That's No, I stay away from politics. Great Good man, yes. Go ahead. Tacos. So here it is. Everybody really wants to know, just like pizza, uh, every day is really International Taco Day. So that's what I've heard. every day you should be. It that's is Taco what I've Tuesday. Heard. This is a special edition of a Taco Tuesday. So okay. okay. What is your favorite taco? <laughs> and what was the last taco? What joint, what place, restaurant was the last taco you went to? So that's two, hard. It's a, two, it's a two question. You know, two part. Favorite. I got to choose favorite. one. One taco. Either rest Feeling. of my life. No, no, no! Your favorite of all time that you prefer. Ooh. So if you have all the tacos you can pick from, all in Just front of you, but you can only choose yeah, right one. Now? What kind of taco would it be? And it can be a, a hybrid. I, it could be an alternative taco. Ooh, or a some hybrid. Of these new ones that are like Chinese. While you're thinking of the answer, tacos, that's while a you're big thinking, question. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you like ten seconds. To yeah, think yeah, about yeah. This. While you're thinking of your answer, okay. just keep going. Think about it. We found a video of, <laughs> we of this. We did. So, little so go ahead and go ahead and figure out your answer. But we found a video. How can you give me ten seconds and then bring that up and expect expect me to kind of just think about the tacos again? It is tacos. Don't worry about it. Okay. Positivity. There you go. Al pastor. That's a good answer. I mean, that's good. If it's a good pollo, I mean, it depends what you put in it. I think. How about lengua? Ooh, I'm not a. That's fine. I'm okay with it. I'll eat it. I will okay. eat any taco. Okay. I'm, I'm up for it. The last one I had, yeah. So apparently, so pizza challenge and any taco. Any taco. We got to, we're, we're taking you. We're we'll, brainstorming this, here. This video is pure gold. So, I got to figure out how to share um, this on Facebook. The last place there's a there's a great spot near campus in, in Denver. A okay. Nice little taqueria. Yeah. And what's uh, it called again? Taqueria. But what kind? Or did you have oh, the it, of it? no! Oh, it was yeah. just it literally was taqueria. We're working on tweeting okay. the video. Don't worry. Maybe you pure know a uh, six minute walk from campus. Nice. And on Thursday nights, uh, all tacos three dollars. Oh, you can't go wrong. Pure gold. So it's good. It's good. Which one do you usually go for there? Ch chicken or what's that? Chicken, Steak. pastor, pastor. Um, carne. Like nice. you, you can't go wrong. Nice. Yeah. Let's can't go. go. Wrong. Like it. That's good. Don't worry about the video. It's okay. All right. So it's like keep going, going on a little the bit more into it. Don't um, worry about the video. <laughs> 
Brutal. What uh, purchase of $100 or less Ooh. has impacted your development or your career or your life? Something that, that you use all the time, not that expensive. I mean, that has helped me. Yeah. $100 or less? Yep. That's a great question. Um, apparently, I should have done some, some research yeah, here. Man, it's nah, just nah, nah. That you think. Um, I think, wow, $100 or less. There's a great book that was under hundred dollars. Okay. Um, it was uh, it was a leadership book given to me by by a coach at really? school. Uh, it's called the Five Dysfunctions of a Team. The Five Dysfunctions of a Team. Hold on, let me add Ooh. that on. Yeah, on yeah. Amazon. So, a coach gave me that book, and and I think that was huge, under hundred dollars, um, and it just kind of. Five helps you understand more about leadership. You know, I think growing up, if you're put in a leadership role, it's not often you're told why or oh, or, is, or okay. kind of what you're supposed to do. Um, right. And so I think that kind of helped me as far as uh, growing, uh, not just as a leader, but as a person. Understanding, you know, there's teams all over, right? You could be on a soccer team. You could you could be in a, a relationship, business. a business. A, a podcast show. A podcast show. You yep. guys got something going on here, and there doesn't seem to be that much uh, dysfunction. But... Have you watched the show? <laughs> We're all the, about I saw dysfunction. The, no, no, I saw the one with uh, Justin and Dom. Yeah. Um, nice. And because uh, I saw they were coming on, and I had to give it a quick watch. Um, but I think under under hundred dollars, that was huge. I think just That's something to great. think about, something to to kind of you know help you grow. There you go. Love it. That's great exactly question. why I asked that. A great answer. Yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely. Okay, so I got a question not related. While he's looking up the rest of them, okay. And uh, he's S- doing Sounders something Addict over here. Yeah, he's trying to help you out. Is he? Not really. Sounders Addict wants to know on the Ash Jordan hashtag. Yeah. Who are you most excited or least excited to room with on road trips? And I'm going to follow up with Part B. Okay. Well, I, his Part B is, and why would that be? And why? And my follow up would be kind of a question. Uh, Bree in the audience asked a question, and and it's kind of one of this. Where are you most looking forward to play? Like what? game that's matters a, the most that's a great question like, do you know i mean you know the rivalries so anyway, yeah so there you go okay so first question is second one they're actually both hard i think obviously i haven't been around the team enough uh they're all in arizona obviously okay. it made it a little bit hard but as far as people that i know i think it's going to be interesting if i ever get a chance to room with kovar because he's a guy that i played with on the 18s right. and i think he's a guy that'll give me a hard time Definitely. Keep me yeah. in check. Yeah. He's obviously been there, done that. Yep. He, he knows what goes on. So, you know, I think Kovar would be someone that he'll give me a hard time if I, if I room with him. So that's the guy <laughs> nice. I think. Oh, cool. Hey, yeah. but it could work out nicely. Of I don't course, know. Maybe. Because you guys have history, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And great, played a great lot guy. Together, played a lot uh, against great each player. other. Yeah. So. No. So him, I think, is the guy that I'm, I'm maybe cautious about cautious, rooming yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. Cautious yeah. is uh-huh. a good yeah. word. Yeah. Because it could go either way. Yeah. Right. Um. But obviously, you know, looking, he'll looking forward. And just, when you, he wants to He's himself. Shared, yeah, yeah, he will. Absolutely. <laughs> he still does. Um, nice. Wow. Is. The, I think to jump off, I am excited to go back to Colorado and play there. Okay. Um, you know, met some great people That's there, awesome. some like friends, some teammates. That. Yeah. a great point. You got to go all the way out there to Commerce City, which makes it a little bit harder. City. They didn't put the stadium in Denver. It's brutal. Yeah, and it it hurts go. the fan base, I think. Um, so Colorado, but I mean, can you get much better than the the Portland's the Van? I mean, no. Yeah, that's which that's, that that's yeah. been around for oh, forever. Dude. I mean, you probably went to a few of those, you know, as a sixteen. Absolutely, and yourself, it's like. brutal when yeah. you play against them because, and it's funny because you almost don't even understand it. You know, you're you're absolutely Your fired up, yeah, right? And you're right. just like I. Because I think it will mean more to the academy kids now because they've kind of grown up with that culture. Whereas, you know, I had seen USL games with Portland and with Vancouver, right. and there yeah. was still that no, rivalry. It's, it was yeah. great. And, uh, no question. No, those games will be fun. I think they're fun when you're growing up, and they're, they're still fun now. So I have two sounds in my ear right now. Yeah. I have the sound of us and the sound of this video that uh, Garrett Lee posted. Oh, what is this? On the fourth annual date oh, of beta. This is bad. So it's on Twitter. It's on Enjoy. Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. So let me just. Oh, yeah, here. Let me let me refresh it. Is it is the one you're in the workout room? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> is the sound on this good? Yeah. Brutal. There, I, I'm not no, playing. No, I'm not playing it live for these. So understand that. 
Oh wow! Nice. Let's, it let's, was for charity. Understand it. No, was no, no. For let's charity. just go through this. I don't have to explain myself yet. <laughs> uh, you're sitting there in the workout room, arms crossed, right? <laughs> That's a great move. Oh god! It's great. So this is where you guys got to sound like the student athlete, right? I this is. Olivia I know this Lola. is like those who aren't watching. This is terrible, but this is like so bad. This is so great. Yeah. This is the best thing yeah, ever. Right the now, the link is Follow out there. Yeah. Sonar B Twitter account. You'll see and the on retweet. Facebook. We'll get this. Or if you're in the. Oh yeah, oh, dancing moves. with the soccer ball moves. This is. Oh. You got to pay good money for this. Man. This is. Oh Only God. on Sonar Feet, folks. That is fantastic. Only on Sonar Feet. We have a you number of people kind of out there scoop. saying. That this is their favorite episode yet, other than the ones they've attended. Yeah? Yeah, so. Well, I, I, we're going to have a good time here. Dude. So yes, that, are. and here's, an, here's another great thing about that. So I told you this all happened quickly, right? Yeah. Where all of a sudden I'm stop. thrust. Before, before we go further. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to use that, that line you just put out there. We're going to have a good time here. <laughs> we're going to have, have a good time. time. Yeah. From what I've time. heard, what I've here. seen, I knew I was in for a treat. So it all happened fast, and I didn't know how to do a video. Okay. So I quickly ran to a teammate and said, hey, like, we got to just think of some things. Like, I don't know. So we came up with different ideas. I mean, it starts off with me reading some book pamphlet upside down, yeah. talking about how, you know, <laughs> school comes first. Right, right. Because I think. Education, you know, yeah. Right. Of course, of course, of course. You're a student no athlete, right? right? Student comes first. But. um, <laughs> well, you sound like a coach. <laughs> no, it's, you it's sound hard, like obviously. a coach without. I don't know. I think you're a student you, athlete. Yeah, that's what coaches say, yeah, right? Do, yeah, that's yeah. what Dom's gonna say as an AD. Yeah, that, yeah exactly. So Dom, oh take God. notes. This is so much and gold. I sent it. I sent so it off gold. to a guy at Beta, and he like cropped what he liked and put it together. So I don't know oh. this guy. He doesn't know me, and he's probably like, "This guy is ridiculous." Like, <laughs> yeah. is this actually how he sounds? Sitting here like, "Yeah, I like to lift." I'm like, <laughs> no. And at the end, I'm I'm dancing to a little oh, bit of T Swift. Yeah, like the T lift. Swift. Yeah. <laughs> so as this is going, I mean, I'm trying to dance pure, a little bit up on goal. stage. Thank you, Lonnie. Lonnie, you know, he's trying, to, yeah. trying to get Lonnie, the bids thank up. You for right? doing, doing oh the, uh, foot Lonnie, and, doing and it. also you Colin in the uh, group here. Lonnie, fantastic thank you. Fantastic work. So, Absolutely fantastic so that got work. Pieced together quickly. Oh my God. And I think you guys will have a lot of fun with that. Oh. I did not know you that that was still out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> oh. when I said it, no, I was the pretty confident never that forgets, it was. Jordan. The internet never that forgets. That is a great lesson yeah. to learn early yeah. on in your career. <laughs> yes. I'll take that as a learning lesson. Yeah. Oh, but my God. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that. Oh, what um, a nice little video here from Perry the Peanut. So, so Samoa's action. Grandma. Yeah. Sounder's grandma, who went yeah. outside. Um, well, quickly. Yeah, very nice. She, yeah, she's great. Yeah. We love awesome. grandma. Awesome. Sounder's grandma would like to know what degree are you working towards currently so i'm studying sociology and marketing oh took a sociology class my sophomore year kind of unsure exactly where i wanted it to go and the idea of and obviously growing up and, and being on teams and different sports yeah. is understanding how groups work understanding that aspect uh was really interesting for me understanding societies cultures how they're kind of built um especially if you kind of take that into to a team setting, yep. it's, it's right. all relative, right? Right, um, right. So that was really interesting for me, and I thought, okay, well, if I'm going to go into this, how do I make it seem a little bit more uh, mainstream? Uh, so marketing, I mean, if you can't market yourself, what what are you going to do? So wow. I took marketing to understand, you know, that aspect of it, and I think if you're going to market to groups, target markets, whatever that is, you got to kind of understand, you know, maybe how they think. So sociology and marketing was seemed like a decent fit for me. I like you even more because that was my absolute all-time favorite college class. It's an interesting sociology. class. Yeah. Sociology yeah. by far. The study of humans and how we interact with people. It's interesting. A cultural yeah. anthropology, the whole idea yeah. of how. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, you don't have to answer this one. Okay, I'm going to ask it. Okay. But you don't have to answer. You as we said before. The it's okay to pass. No, 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 it's I'm okay ready. to pass. I mean, I told you guys I was ready. Hicks Dre would like to know, non-soccer related. Okay. Worst date ever. You, you might as well hear some more embarrassing questions. <laughs> worst date is ever. Is his comment. Now, feel free not to answer, no, but no, I'm going to no. ask you. We'll it. go there. Okay. Um, worst date ever. Exactly, yeah. 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 So we are. You are back here. in town. Or back in town. Yeah. I think. The boys are back in town. Worst date yeah. ever. It actually might be the same date. Of, the no. beta date? It might. No, no, no. It might have been. She was, she was nice. She was nice. But. 
again, when you just meet someone, it's it's really hard to sit down and be like, hey, like, how are you? Yeah. 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 How you doing? Yeah. What? Where we're gonna order? What your, like your uh, hair is nice, right. you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you like tacos? No, right. like, you like tacos? Right. Is why you I should like not to go to. things, but I just think the whole night it was yeah. just like, no. Actually, to find uh, some we go way back. Well. Yeah, it was just hard. She's a really nice Long, girl. Yeah. nothing against it. But no, no, of course. It was. It was kind of. And again, I was. I was thinking maybe no, maybe do a double date with a teammate. And yeah. I thought I was gonna be with a teammate. Yeah, yeah. So I was solo. More low key environment. Yeah, but again, the hockey game was fun. I gotta go see an Avs game. I'm a hockey fan. Okay. So bring the Sonics back that. and the NHL. So you're Let's an Avs fan. Both. Are you an Avs fan? I'm an Edmonton Oilers fan. What? What? How in the world? How did that, how did that happen? So my family, there's only one team in the NHL. What's that? The Red Wings. Actually, no, I like. I grew up. I grew up there, so okay. That's why okay. I grew up there. Auto go to like, oh, no, no, Aaron no. says that. You, no. no. you are already that hating on it. Come on, muscle man. memory was just like <laughs> yeah, no. no. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, no. I like the Red no. All my family, uh, my dad and my mom's side are from Edmonton. Oh, okay. so my parents grew up in Edmonton. I have family in Edmonton and Calgary. Uh, so by default, you kind of become an Oilers fan, and, and they grew up in uh, when the Gretzky era was going on. They were winning a lot of games, yeah. a, a lot of Stanley Cups. So um, you know, I have my family here in Washington uh, through my my stepmom, and and then my family up in Canada, which which has made me a hockey fan so by this default. This is horrible, dude. This is horrible. I have to ask. Go for it. Forgive me, all other sports fans. What team was Gretzky on before the Kings? Wayne the Gretzky. Oilers. Was it the Oilers? Yeah. 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 That, that was right? the tearful yeah. exit yeah, yeah, yeah. when he left Because I remember seeing a documentary about when he left and that team and that city. I don't know if I've seen my dad. So family, you got family there. I don't think I've seen my dad cry. He told me he he cried Oh, at that when, when Gretzky, Gretzky left. left. Yeah. That's yeah. how big that, that he was oh, no, no question, for, dude. for that city. It's like Jordan, dude. It's like I, Yeah, it's yeah. huge. So so I think, you know, yeah, he went from Edmonton, Edmonton that's right. to, uh, to L.A. That's cool. All right, we have a 15-minute warning. Okay. okay. You, guys, you guys are running the show. Wanna, we're an hour, just you know, we're an hour and fifteen minutes in, so okay. we're fifteen more minutes, and then we're going to end it for the day. Okay. Uh, I hopefully, this will not be your last visit because this. You was, guys are fun. Yeah. Oh my Epic. god, this was fantastic. Yeah, this is you fun. are. You I'm have, trying. You've endeared yourself no, to the fans. Trying. I'm going to let him ask. Trying. Me. Good. I'm going to let him ask a question, and then okay. we got a couple more here. Okay. Okay. No, I wanted to get one from uh, from uh, Dave Clark uh, okay. at Better Than on Twitter. Okay. Has a great question. What's your favorite video game? And FIFA doesn't count. FIFA doesn't count. FIFA doesn't count. What's your Great other question. favorite Great video question, game? Great question, Dave. Can it be anything? Any video game? Any video game you love? Any video game. You know? If you remember it, Backyard Sports oh on the computer God. was huge. On the PC, yeah. 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 It was huge. Yeah. Yeah. That, that might be my the big headed favorite game. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a bunch of big headed kids that, playing like backyard. That was huge. It's awesome. PD That's Pablo. not the answer I expected, though. No, no. 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 I love that game. I was going to think maybe Goldeneye or. That's a cool answer. Yeah, I thought no, he was going to go say something like sports. Pro Evolution Soccer. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Can I also uh, keep yeah, it soccer? Yeah, Which yeah. I just <laughs> downloaded on the iPhone. Yeah. That's How is a it? cool app. Is it? Yeah. Really? It's really cool. Yeah, uh, Damon was over on Sunday. Lil yeah. Pablo. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty good. It's knows. not as cool as my uh, Marvel Champions. All right. Okay. So we have a couple qu- couple. Oh, so bless. sisters I'm here. Like, yeah. Like not in the same room. Okay. Sarah says he knows that he's now a huge fan favorite now, right? <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> but now you are. Okay, thank you. Her follow-up was, there's a two-pole forthcoming. But the funny part is, between those comments, her sister said, if you know, if, if, if someone, her being Beth, okay. Brad, okay. Brad Evans, Brad Evans, made someone, you, okay. a two-pole, what would you want on it? <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to leave that up to you. I think Good answer. that, that Great lets you, <laughs> you, Man, you do you, it. you do you, yeah. you, <laughs> I'm going to appreciate it. Yeah. 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 That man. allows the creativity of, of yeah, someone absolutely. else to, I mean, cause that's not about me. It's obviously that's, that's a nice compliment, but, but that's, that's, that's you guys, you guys, you guys know what you're doing. So surprise me. That's the answer. That is a beautiful answer. God. Okay, so, when you think of the word successful and admirable, who do you think of? Successful and admirable. Who th- do you think of? I think of my dad. Your dad. I think he's someone who who have always watched. Oh boy. He's someone that, you know, 
obviously when you grow up, I mean, that's that's the guy. That's the yeah. guy that you look up yeah, to. Yeah. And I think, you know, my parents, I'm very thankful for my parents and, and, and all that they've, they've done for me, that they've taught me, you know, for good or for bad, you know, at the time. No it's, question. It's obviously been a no good question. lesson. So, and to see where he's come from and what he's done and just how hard he works and, and what he's provided for, for me and my family and, and, you know, my siblings, it's unbelievable. So I think if I can be half the dad that he was, is, still my dad, um, nice. that that's that's a goal. Okay. That's success right there to Solid. to raise a family and then do that. As someone who uh, loves his dad very much, I think the same thing, same answer. Uh, yeah. My dad, you know, left his country to bring me a better future. So I definitely, I can understand that for sure. And that's, so that's, that's big. What, uh, going to another great one, uh, okay. non-soccer. All if right. you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be non-soccer related? One thing about myself. Um, Your appearance on Sonar Feed? He he was let's, let's, okay. he would, he would, talk he about would, the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going. If we're talking current, I would go if we're back talking, and not say anything yeah, about yeah, that yeah, video. If we're yeah. talking current, I would I because again I didn't think the video was out there. <laughs> uh, I'm just talking. Whoa. I thought we were all friends it's, here. I didn't know that the video yeah. was coming out. Lonnie, like the Lonnie will find the video. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. That's what that she is does, really man. impressive. Lonnie's and now amazing. I gotta I gotta somehow find get in contact with those guys. Take that down fast. You know what? Everyone's seen it. We can have a good time. I am who I am. Um. But yeah, no, that's definitely the fastest. How would you Take feel that about that as a two pole? That's pretty funny. PD Pablo. PD Pablo. <laughs> I mean, he could do it all. He was good in any position. That's he was. Awesome. That's pretty he good. Was, he was. He was the man. All right, Emily R. Cummings would like to know. Well, then, who is your favorite cartoon character? Favorite cartoon character. Any other questions? Out here? Wow. So this might. I wasn't a huge cartoon guy. My sister, my old, I had an older sister, and, and my sisters kind of ran the show. Oh, I think yeah. I'm trying to think of cartoons. She was already past cartoons when you were a kid. No, no, she was, she was. So I had to watch her cartoons. Oh, oh, oh. If I could pick one cartoon. That's hard. For me, it's Michelangelo, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, dude. Really a good one. That's for me. It's a pretty solid choice. That's how I learned my English. I'm gonna that's, really. Yeah, I couldn't say that's much, impressive. So I would just say. So is that how I should, is that how I should Obama, learn dude. Spanish? Univision. That would be a great idea. Okay, Watch it's good to know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know no, okay. If we're gonna go. if we're gonna go right on and say it, I'm trying to think. I think uh, you know. Oh, I'm gonna go with. Um, yeah. We're gonna come back to that. Okay. I haven't been asked a cartoon question in years. All right, so I don't have a specific cartoon. That's a great question. Great I don't question. have a specific stump. one. That's the first one There's that stumped him. That's the There's first an, I'll think about that. Okay, let me ask real quick before I ask you my next question. Yeah. Who's your favorite cartoon character? I already answered yeah, that. Yeah, answered what? that. Michelangelo. Oh, Michelangelo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's your favorite one? Sorry. It's okay. Oh, man. My favorite cartoon character. See, it's the, it's actually kind yeah, of a a lot, complicated. No, Loop like, on the third. That's my favorite cartoon who? character. Loop on the third. Loop on yeah, the what's third. that from? Yeah. It's a uh, old anime. Yeah, it's old. Yeah, anime. anime. Okay, okay. Yeah. So for me, it's somewhere between Bugs Bunny, okay, Tiny Toons, and Animaniacs, but they're all in the same family, basically. See, if I can so, go, yeah. if I can go cartoon, I would, I'm gonna switch it up on you then. I'm gonna go movies. I'm a Ooh, big a Disney. Oh yeah, cart oh. like that was Frozen. Big. Favorite Disney Frozen movie. <laughs> favorite Disney movie? Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. That's my wife's favorite, too. Fantastic wow. answer. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Good answer. I think it's tough. Be happy to hear There's yeah. a lot, Disney fan. Yeah. but Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch is huge. How about your favorite movie slash a director of all time? Of all time? Yeah. See, I... That's hard. Um, at one point, I would have said Rudy. Oh, okay. Nice. I love that movie. It's great great movie. movie. Very. I mean, I'm a, I'm a sucker for inspirational sports yeah. movies. I mean, I the think everyone... Rocky. That, Wow, dodgeball! Have you I'll seen Creed? Dodgeball, have right? you seen the latest? Yeah, dodgeball, the latest yeah. ones? <laughs> dope. Yeah, Creed dope. movies, great. It's yeah. Yeah. Dog story. Totally. Um, no, that's hard too. I mean, I think there's a lot of classic movies, um, but if I'm gonna go from a long time ago and one that I still would probably watch is Rudy. I'd Rudy. go with Rudy. Rudy. Good call. Rudiger. So when you came into the show tonight, you had yeah. a warm-up jacket on. I did. And you took that off. Yeah. And you may or may not have exposed more skin than you intended to. I. I did. There's eyes everywhere, Jordan. There's eyes everywhere. And, and what everything on the, the internet stays on the internet. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Don't worry yeah. about Which it. Which I knew. We don't have pictures of that. Yeah. Fair. Tattoos? A couple. Yeah. Do you want to talk about any yeah, of them? Yeah, we can talk about it really quickly. Yeah. I think, um, you know, I got tattoos and my, my older sister um, has a few and I liked the <laughs> meaning behind it. Um, I don't consider myself an artistic person at all. If you were to ask me to draw something, it's, it's pretty poor. 
and I'm okay with that. Yeah. But I respect art. I respect, right, right, of course, you know, uh, all forms of art. You know, whether that's music, whether that's that's books. Right. I think you know, acting, movies. It's, it's impressive, yeah, yeah. What, especially if you're at the top or, or if you're doing something. It's impressive what those those people can do. Oh, no question. Do. It's like a, it's like a, a being one of the top soccer players. Right, you know, it's, and it's, it's there's something that it. you have to respect about that. So, no. um, I have a couple, um, and uh, they're all family related. <laughs> family related. Um, I think you know. Okay. My family's meant a lot to me, um, and, and they still awesome, do. Dude. So they're, they're family related. So they're kind of tributes to, is it your parents or your sister? or? Yeah, everything. Okay. Yeah, so um, there it is. All right, so real that's quick. Big, that's big. I'm sorry. That's big. I'm that's gonna, you and Perry. I okay, I normally we'll try go and back. listen to the we'll answer, but I didn't. I'm sorry. I don't know, because you got to show this. Perry the Peanut. Oh, man. Perry the Peanut's having a good time. Yeah, he Perry, I said that this. you were my favorite, and now you're going to do this to me. Perry the Peanut just tweeted the video with oh half of him god. dancing and half of you dancing. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. <laughs> I like. See, I think Perry's so giving awesome. it more enthusiasm though he really than me. He really is, man. Because I'm a huge Sonar Pete fan. Well done for Perry. Wow. Perry goes in. I like. Oh Perry. my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perry, you're still wow. my favorite, but that's you're you're killing me here. <laughs> oh my god. Killing that's me. he's. It's the complete opposite, man. Yeah. So I, I didn't mean opposite. to steal the thunder. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm glad you're having a good time. That's yes. good. And not only that, but the speed. Yeah. The speed at which he yeah. did that was Yeah, impressive. that was pretty awesome. impressive. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very uh, impressive. Uh, yeah. They're all they're all family related. Okay, family related. Um, yeah, okay. so um, and at the moment now, um, they're they're mostly covered. Unless, you know, maybe yeah. I take my Yeah, you saw you, my have, top one, off. you have one here. Yeah, I have one on and my side. Have one here. I have one on the inside, yeah. uh, a little bit on my arm. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, I just like the the art and the meaning that you can yeah. have behind them. And Connection. I think that's why a lot of people get tattoos. Of course. And that's yeah, and that's yeah, again, it's, it's all you know for for whatever it is, right? It's something yep. that's important it's to you. That's for you. It is. It's for you. I have one, and it's about my dad in right. my dad's hometown. Same exact reason. It's awesome to connect with and remind me where my roots are at, and where I came from. Yep. So it's, totally and it's a story, and it's it's something yeah. that you can kind of express through art. It's cool. And that's I'm I'm 41, so I'm old enough to young. be your dad or grandpa or whatever. Still young at heart, but though. I'm getting my first tattoo, hopefully in the next year or two. What's it gonna be? So. I won't go into the full yeah, story, yeah. but okay. for for this guy and a guy watching at home, I almost yeah. died three years ago. Oh wow! Two, yeah, three years ago actually, three years ago. Oh my Yolt. gosh! You and, only lived uh, twice. <laughs> I have a scar that goes from here. Okay. All the way up there. Oh yeah. All the way up there. Didn't know so that. So I'm doing a full like sleeve. shoulder sleeve half tattoo, probably to about here. Yeah. That's gonna be a combination of. My whole family. So it's my whole family. Very cool. Uh, my loves, my wife, my daughter, my son. It's all of our stuff together. Very cool. But it scares the hell out of me because I've never had a tattoo ever, and I'm going all in. So yeah, no, no that's not a that's not so, a first tattoo. That's yeah. no like little butterfly no, somewhere. No, no. That it's is a deep. full deep. sleeve. But hearing you half say sleeve. that, yeah. it's a half sleeve. Half it's sleeve. Half sleeve. Yeah. You'll but be okay. That's what I'm gonna. You're do. a tough guy. That's my you'll goal. Be okay. Not really. No, no you'll win. be okay. I cry at the right? easiest. When the wind blows, uh, I cry. Yeah. Yeah. When well, you're doing well, it for you a reason, a good it's easy system to do. It is. So, yeah, exactly. so someone's got to get that on video it, then. The first, the first <laughs> one, you just got to get a little, little yeah, bit of video. Because we'll, we'll when, yeah. when you, I mean, it's it's a different. Yeah. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. But it means but something, not, though. Like you yeah. said, it means something. And it's so worth it's, it to get it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So we're about four minutes left. All right. Hit it. We can do like a speed version, like a PTI. Just, just. We've been Quite, at it already, yeah. man. Right, you, guys are, you guys are going. Killing it. I'm just the trying cartoon, to make sure. I had, that one almost uh, had me stumped, but I spun uh, so it around. So with all the to. players that you played with, who's your, who's your favorite teammate? My favorite teammate. Who's your favorite teammate? That's another great question. It's hard to pick. I know, I've been very fortunate to have, uh, to have great teammates. Yeah, yeah. And, and some, yeah, some great players and some great teammates. I think, um, Wow. I'm still gonna have to say, and again, it, it, it won't mean anything to anyone listening. But Blair Gerald's was a guy who at Denver um, helped me. As Blair to, to Blair Gerald's. Gerald's. I know he won't be listening. He's he's probably at work still. The man, just an absolute legend. Um, but helped me on and off the field um, in, in ways. And again, I'm trying to thank him here again for for just what he meant. Um, not only to me, but the program helped take the program to, to, to new heights. So what he kind of, how he lived his life on and off the field yep. was something that was, was, uh, impressive and something that I wanted to model. Is everybody uh, here good? We're going to find him. Last question. We're going to find more? Blair. Good, good, good. Okay. Blair Gerald. So I'm going to let, I'm going to let, 
Kyle, make any last comments, questions? Uh, what's your boot choice? Boot choice? Yeah. Good question. I used to be a Predator guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, right? It makes was. it a little bit yeah. harder. Um, yeah. So somewhere between a Nitro Charge would probably be how I, you go how I would like to do yeah, that. Are, are you leaning a little bit towards the Laceless? We'll see. The Prime I don't know. Like I feel like, I mean, remember when the Lottos came out with those Laceless? Yeah. I, I wasn't sold on them. I mean, I'm open to, to try them, but uh, I'll, I'll probably stick with the lace. Yeah, not a bad idea. Just, it they, feels, they feels right. With the lace. I think Charlie, yeah, ask Charlie how he likes them. He's wearing yeah, the lace. Yeah, he's version. got them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So, Nitro Charge. So, yeah. mine's a two part. One's in the video. Uh, a ask. I'm going to ask okay. of you a favor okay. to just remember La Copita. Oh, yeah. So, just remember it. Okay. Uh, in the, Every year, so uh, a lot of us are with Vara, which is the Latino subgroup of ECS okay. supporter group. And every year, Vara puts on a kids tournament to uh, have teams that don't have access to the big tournaments that premier teams have, right. but still have their own cup in a big tournament. We have a, a big field. You know, we we have we held it Where at do Starfire. You guys do that? Oh, Starfire. Last year it was a Starfire. We have refs come down. We get we have a big trophy, uh, which will have placed here actually in, in the not in the very, very near cool. future. Uh, we give every team a play, every kid a, pl a, a shirt. Uh, and in the past, some of the players have stopped by. Yeah. So uh, it's very early. Uh, of course, I want to invite you, but uh, yeah. just remember it for now. Okay. Uh, and it'll be something in the summer. Yeah, we'll be in touch. And then, uh, Love to hear that. Then yeah. the, that's the ask. And then the question is, do you have an ask of us? Do you have anything you'd like us to check out wow. for you? Or anything that you would say, well, you know, I don't know, a recommendation to us as a fan base or as fans or as, fr as friends or, hey, you know, as a rookie, just and, take it easy. And can I make a comment on that? Yeah. You don't have to, I mean, you can answer it. Yeah. But you could also reserve that to when you're ready, I think, to ask. Because yeah. as a community group here, we do. We just want to encourage the growth, the education, the knowledge yes. of the folks like yourself that are brand, quote unquote, new yeah. to the community. Although this, uh, this guy is trying to help spread the knowledge of He's the youth. He's a super fan of Absolutely. the youth. And it's, it's, it's cool and to we're have. we're trying to help with him. And it's, that's why we love him on part of the community. That's man. a big task. It is. It, he spreads the knowledge. Under, so very, underappreciated. Very cool. Don't, you know? I guess I'm just saying you have a little bit of an out here saying you can answer it now. But we'll yeah. also continue that ask when you want us to as well. Yeah. No, I think, again, I'm, I'm new to this again. Right. Um, and, you know, I've... To see the fans out of practice, I mean, that just, you remember why this fan base is so strong, yeah. has such a, a large influence, not only in the game, but off the field, the community work you guys do. I mean, I think for me, just keep that up. It's very cool to be a part of not only an organization, but but a fan base that does so much for for everyone around them. It's, it's no cool. Question. So no question. you keep that up. Um, I mean, oh, yeah. as, a, as a player, you can't really ask for more. Be selfish of us too, I think. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I'll, I'll get back to you on that. I, yeah. You know, I've been nothing but impressed so far, hey, and like, it's, it's like been exciting. all night long, man. Great answers. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I just wanted to take a second. Uh, the great Diana Bankson, love uh, her. Wanted, yeah, awesome. She Absolutely. said, "Congratulations from the Bangers in Thank Cincy you. and uh, South Carolina." Yeah. So I know I'm sad. She to hear wanted that they to be moved. here for the tournament, but she uh, she uh, she got a little sick, couldn't show up. So. Oh, okay. But yeah. Congratulations from from all the bangers. Yeah. Great so family. ending up the show tonight, we yeah. are absolutely grateful for you coming yeah, out. Grateful, I believe man. you are the actual first signed homegrown player to join the show. There are others that were in the pipeline, but I don't. I'm asking you, but I don't believe anybody would know, else right? has been he would an know. actual signed in the yeah. organization homegrown player yeah. to join the show. Because we're not. Rolled you down. are. No, again, no, from California. California. Yeah, yeah. Again, you are the Jordan we didn't know we wanted, but we Jordan need. Jordan who? <laughs> yeah. And what I love about you is that you brought up that conversation before I could even go into it, is that yeah. you get where you are and who you are. Yeah. You are in the top interviews we've ever had. You are one of the smartest of fun, people dude. we've oh, ever interviewed. Thanks for having me. Yeah. You get awesome. it. You nailed the hot seat. It's you. not. It took some weird turns there. <laughs> yeah, it did. Well, little, little Taylor, Taylor Swift. <laughs> there, so no, this it was is, fun. It was fun. It was fun. This is one of those uh, shows uh, that 
You remember Captain Crunch with Duncan? Oh, yeah. Took off? Oh, yeah. Love I, got Duncan. A, I got a feeling yeah. good or bad. There's going to be a lot of things Super that are taken off for Schweitz yeah. after oh, this uh, episode. For talk. good or bad. For good or bad. Hey, and it, whatever the happens, legend, happens. The, yeah. the legend's yep. building. Yeah. Dunk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duncan's a great guy. And we oh, love I can see him Duncan. doing well on we this. We love Duncan. Yep. Yeah. And that's why I say I can't say a number, but you were in the top group of smart young men Thank who, you. as a father, it – it warms my heart because you are doing the things that you want to do. You have the passion. You And on the pitch, fantastic. And I love it. So I'm excited to have you on. I'm glad you spent an hour and a half with us tonight. It's fun. Uh, you actually spent two and a half hours, if you count the time we watched the game, before yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we hope, it, we hope to watch. never see you during a game again. No offense. No, no, no that's fine. Maybe like 10 Bitter, years from now. This was a bittersweet moment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Enjoyed this. Yeah. Yes. Didn't enjoy that as much, yeah. Obviously, with the loss as well, but it's preseason. They looked a little better second half. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely, a little better second half. But you'll be on the pitch very soon. Hoping we're excited to see you. Thanks for joining us on our feed. This is the end of the episode for February 9th, episode 158. Nailed it, Jordan. Thanks for having me. As always, the Berliner Pub, downtown Renton. Thank you for having us. We will be back Thanks, producer. next week, just real quick. Next Monday night, we are yes. doing a 21 and over show. It's a 21 and over oh. show, We are going to Atlantic Crossing. Don't bring your kids. Atlantic no, Crossing up to, in for the release of the yeah. ECS beer. So we will not be yes. here, but the 22nd, we'll be back here. So the good night, everybody. Relaunch, nice. Thank the you relaunch. so much. Thanks for watching. Make I'm going to sure go, go out to Alexi Wallace. Hey, this is Alexi Lawless, and although I have no soul, I know about heart. Heart means you listen to Sonar Feed.